Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dice Functional, where a bunch of friends have fun, play D&D, and we share the story with you. I apologize in advance because everyone is in a mood today. Um, <laughs> but if it is your first time listening, thank you very much. Welcome on in. Warmest of welcomes to you. Sit back and enjoy. Hopefully you do enjoy. Um, exactly. Uh, this is the kind of high-quality content you can expect from us. So before we get into more high-quality content, let's go die. ahead and introduce the players for today. Uh, as always, we're going to go ahead and start with Cole playing the fabulous cleric rogue and voted most likely to be in danger at any given moment. Cal. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we have Becca playing his twin, the feisty rogue Dea, um, and also known as the one whose only kink seems to be more weapons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> listen. Are we wrong? I'm not the no. one with the collecting weapon. <laughs> you literally pulled a weapon out of the toy bag. I don't want to hear it. So um, <laughs> <laughs> next, we have Michelle playing the amazing wizard, and one probably still thinking about Alice right now. Rudy. Eh, probably. No, probably. definitely. <laughs> definitely. It happens. We understand. All right, next, we have... Jess playing the paladin fighter and one still touching everything she finds interesting. And yes, that's as bad as it sounds. Mercy. I'm hyped up on Benadryl, Coke, and way too much energy from trying to the get drink. somewhere. Coke, Coke, the, the drink. drink. Coke, Coke, the drink. <laughs> How do you know that? Crazy. What do you know with a weather girl? Yep. So much right. today. Next, we have Jill playing the meme lord bard fighter and slowly adding the cute to i may be cute but i won't hesitate bitch bro creeper oh man this is gonna be a special one guys next we have kate playing the rogue and classic older sibling maury hey i hey. want to fucking take a nap yep i don't know I'm moving. <clears throat> Fun stuff. Next, we have Jolly playing the sorcerer and precious being of the party and one thinking of the cake that she's going to make for her dad when she gets home. Maddie. I love food. <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's just Jolly. Oh <laughs> and last but not least, we have myself, Jace, playing the paladin barbarian and one ready to fist everything. His phrasing, not mine. Gail. With occasional uh, appearances by dog that's sometimes a sword and a sword that's sometimes a dog, but got our DM ready. Connor, take it away. Also, you played a flute you... with your asshole. Nope. Okay. Also, try, though. Also, theoretically, you could. The delicious mad scientist. <laughs> he's not delicious. He's eating. He's the hungry one. Hungry, the delicious mad scientist. That's the no. joke. Oh God, please stop. He's Never. So, where we last <laughs> left off, our group of intrepid adventurers had uh, had a interesting meeting with a lich by the name of Hongaron Nepe. Um, many questions were answered and some deals were struck. Um, as they were informed that the noise that they were occasionally hearing from around the city uh, was actually a experiment gone wrong by uh, Hongaron and one of his compatriots by the name of Takawaijin. Um, and if they, uh, the team, successfully managed to deal with this creature and uh, stop it from attacking for a little bit so that he could contain it, Hongaron <coughs> would reward them. But first, the team has to try and get a bunch of these mantles so they can get access into the academy. Uh, and where we just left off, uh, left off, Caloron had just been hit in the face by some creature. Gee. Cal. One of these days, Cal won't be near Hi. Me. So, you have been making your way towards the station. I would like to point out, I said stealthily. You're right, you did. Um, and as you were making your way towards it, Something came flying out of the station and has just landed square in your face and is now scrabbling around on your head, Ugh. just moving around fast. Is it attacking me? It, it, it appears to head? be. It appears to be moving. 
It's I... scratching, but it doesn't feel violent. Try to grab it. Okay, you grab hold of something, and it's uh, scaly and a little leathery. Is it more of the is little dragon things? The, yeah, is that one of the candle dragon? Sort of uh, dragon you, you hold out in front of you, and you're looking at a pale, white, yellowish-looking small dragon shape. They had digged out one of the candles. <laughs> I just sort of hold it, and I turn to my sister for you. Thank you. And she, like, gestures with the candle, like, hey. <laughs> He's flapping its wings. Let him go. <laughs> I sort of put it on her shoulder, I guess. <laughs> Is that what I mean? It, it kind of starts to fly away now. Aww. Wait, come back. It flies back into the station. <sighs> I mean, he's going looking and at the station. Is, is there anything that, that looks off about it? Uh, there was the, the flashing lights that you mentioned last time. Okay, so the lights are still flashing. It wasn't this thing that was causing them. Uh, you were seeing, you were seeing periodic lights flashing. Got it. They are, they aren't really following much of a pattern, I will say. Okay. But that is what you were saying off in the distance. I would, with that thought, I guess I would continue my approach towards the lights. Yeah, I All guess right. we roll stealth check. All right, I'm right behind. Oh man, my stealth got even better, guys. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Oh, There's gonna be oh, uh, it's so good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, following her stuff. brother. Uh, I'm gonna There's hang stuff. in the back, but I guess I'll like stealth. I it will follow, but I will also be stealthy, and I will probably be bad, but it's okay because I'm not. Okay. So yes. I want to. I'll follow too. Oh my ready. Oh my Y'all god. That's in that twenty. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to hold on. Uh, you know, Ro that. turns and walks away. <laughs> Gotta go. Fuck this shit. shit. And <laughs> finally, last but not least, at disadvantage. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, no. I thought she should also technically roll for Harvey. Yeah, that's a five. Oh no! Join me. Everyone's bad. We are not stealthy this time. It's Somehow probably. I'm not really. Somehow I want a three to be fair. We're still recovering from hanging out with a lich. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, are, you all have oh, Sorry. A few of you are uh, somewhat stealthy as you begin making your way through. Uh, Erudite and Elder Erudite, Dea, and Morgan, especially. Um, the rest of you are uh, not doing the best, and you do appear to attract the attention of the creatures you see inside of this. As, as you make your way into the station, you see that. Um, there are what appear to be dozens of these little yellow, white colored pseudo dragons just flying around the area. And as you are making your way through, you just hear the sounds of them flapping and chirping and making these odd noises as they just kind of fly by. And a lot of them are kind of stopping and looking down at you as you keep walking in. At least the ones who didn't roll well, which is a majority of you. <laughs> uh. Can I take a look around to see, like, is there a certain thing that they're, like, congregating around, like a giant wax something or another, or can I see anything that would attract all these pseudo-dragons? You see that occasionally they actually roll perception check. Okay. More so, so I can give you a... Ooh! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind, I see nothing. Uh, that's rough, buddy. I'll give you a rough description of the place, and that's about all you're gonna get. <laughs> cool. um, you see quite a few of the pseudo-dragons, and all the flashing lights that are coming from them, it makes it a little tough. To determine exactly uh, where they're coming from, um, uh, but you notice that there are sets of seats off to the left. Uh, there's a room down in the far back right. Uh, there are a couple of odd-looking things towards the left that kind of these little circular like pedestal things that have like my ears lights mm-hmm. and these odd metal creatures sitting on them as well. They don't appear to be moving. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a few boxes scattered around. There's one of those maps that you guys saw last time. Uh, and there is what appears to be one of those trolleys currently in the station. Um, it's gonna break her stealth and, <laughs> like, try to go towards one of the, uh, pseudo-dragons with a candlestick. I'm gonna cast <laughs> Guidance on my sister. <laughs> Uh, and I... in Draconic, she's going to be like, you hungry, little guy? 
to like the closest one. Uh, it will it will turn and kind of cock its head to the side. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, can I make a perception check on that fucking noise? Yes. Okay. Like where it's coming from or what's going on with it? Sure. Sure. Yes. Um. Gotcha. <laughs> what? We <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> that's strange. Uh, I'll be I'll be turning it off so that you guys have probably identified it. Uh, those little flip flap noises that you're hearing, um, it is the sound of the pseudo dragons. As they are oh. flying around, they are making they're moving their wings very very quickly, and they are making this little flapping noise as they make their way through. And as they are flying by, you hear them occasionally make these chirps and purrs as they are flying through. Um, I will point out, you're hearing quite a few more of them um, towards the trolley. I'm going to approach the trolley. Still stealth. <clears throat> okay, you can do so. Um, Erudite, you want to look through some of the boxes? Mm-hmm, yep. Uh, just roll an investigation check. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Nope, I clicked up snowballs stuff. Nope. <laughs> Snowball can't do that. Starting up uh, great, guys. Yeah. Whatever. Really on top of it. Yeah, damn right. Uh, but yeah, don't worry, Jill. The, uh, the flip that noise is gone. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I literally had to have Jessica mute the mic so I, I could be like, is that sound happening in real life or am <laughs> yeah. I losing my mind? Uh, <laughs> I muted no. the mouse. The, uh, the noises were actually, uh, I, I, I got sound effects from bats. Oh. Ah. oh God, I've seen too many bats in my lifetime. <laughs> they break into my house all the time. <laughs> with a wow. crowbar and a and a, and a mask. <laughs> <laughs> the themes, I tell and you. They throw these weird, like weird shaped metal discs at her all the time. <laughs> and then you went into the bat cave. And you go in the bat cave. Um, uh, Erudite, looking through the uh, uh, the crates nearby, um, they appear to be uh, largely empty. It looks like something has chewed <gasps> holes into the right top, and they all appear to be very much empty, uh, save for uh, some scraps of paper. That are laying about, um, and some small bits of string. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you want to take a look at the metal creatures? And I'll point out they're they're not on on the bench. They're not they're not on the bench. They're uh, they are on a, a few circular ped almost like pedestals off towards the back left. Uh, then yeah, I'll still want to go look at them. Okay. Uh, you start making your way towards them, and you see they're they're about the size of they're about like say like three feet tall. So, Jesus. sorry. Good size. Please cover your mouth. I did. Okay. Well, I mean, also <laughs> angle it away from the mic. I did. I was, I was like, <laughs> you, you It loud. sounds like you're not. <laughs> it, yeah, it sounds like you're not. I pulled really um, far Michelle, away from my mic. But, um, I can't believe we both have the stupid loud sneezes too. But oh, um. As you make your way towards the back, you see that they're, they're about like three feet, three foot tall, a little, um, almost like spherical around like the chest. Uh, and you see that like towards the very front, they have this uh, little, um, you could describe them like hands that are kind of like perched in front of them, like praying mantis style. Now uh, you see that they have about six fingers on each one. Um, uh, they all appear to be unmoving and inactive. Um, I like the sign on the pedestal that I could read with my glasses? There is no sign on the pedestal, no. Okay. Actually, well, no, I take that back. There will be a sign nearby that says, do not touch. Um, is it, is, is there glass or could I technically go out? There is no pedestal? glass. You very well could touch them. Oh my God. I'm gonna hold off on a second, but Cal's <laughs> real time to depoke. Okay, so Ro and Dea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you guys like to do? I mean, uh, she's Ro still trying to attract one of the dragons using draconic and a candle. So. Oh, Ro is just holding a candle out at arm's length, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> she saw Dea do it before, and is like, "I want, I want that." <laughs> All right. So I suppose you guys would both be rolling. Uh, really animal handling, and you're both being clever enough to make them come towards you using a treat, so you can have advantage for these rolls. <gasps> <laughs> Alright! 
Alright, 21! <laughs> Wait, what is this guy? It's two. Two. Now, what'd you roll, roll? Uh, it's showing up as an 1814 on our screen. 1814? So yep. that's an 18. Uh, yep. And a 21 from Dea. Um, also, Dea, yeah, you get to roll a d4 because you have guidance. Uh, so that would be a 24. <laughs> So a 24 and an 18. Uh, Ro, you see one of these um, little pseudo dragons. This one looks to be a bit rotund. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Show me. Kind of, kind of fly <laughs> Absolute you. unit. Kind of fly, fly near you. Don't interrupt me. Um, and you just watch as it kind of like right. swoops down and grabs hold of the candle. Uh, just roll me. Just roll me a strength check so I can see something. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna remind you, she has a negative two. I, oh, I figured. Yeah. Oh, it's a five. It, it, it swoops by and goes <laughs> and just snags the candle out of your hand and keeps flying. Rude. <laughs> How fucking rude. Uh, Dea, uh, you do see another one uh, that is kind of like creeping towards you, like kind of scuttling on the ground. Uh, you see, this one does appear to. Um, uh, it has almost like a horn like setup on its head um, instead of like a, the crests and uh, the fins that some of the other ones have. And this one kind of like creeps towards you a little bit. Creeps towards you a little more. And like stretches its head out. Grabs the candle and backs away a little bit. Starts chewing. Yay! <laughs> Good baby! <laughs> uh, what is everybody else doing? I'm checking the uh, the the train out, the trolley car. Okay, Chase. Uh, is there like a back office area, like there was with the? Uh, there was the there room? was a room in the back right that I mentioned. Okay, um, Gail's gonna go check that out. Jolly. Sorry. What? Well, sorry, Jolly. You're going to have to repeat yourself. You kind of lagged. <laughs> God damn it! Can I look around? <laughs> Just a general perception check. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. Okay. Uh, and just uh, I was also going to look for the back office. Uh, so you'd be going in the same direction as Chase then. <gasps> okay. Ooh, uh, 22 nice. in perception uh, would uh, likely show you about the same things I'm probably going to be describing to um, Morgan just because she's actively walking yeah. towards something, yeah. so I have to describe it to her. Nice. Um, you would see all the things I mentioned. Mm -hmm. various boxes that are kind of around. Many of them you see have been chewed through at oh. various points where something has like started munching at it and clawing at it and chewed through the wood. Um, you would also note that um, there are a very large number of these pseudo dragons that are congregating around the train and you see Morgan's going to look at them so you figure it might be safe. Yeah. Um, but you would note that further towards the back right in the office uh, through what's almost like this kind of like, like a, like a service window or someone to go like to talk to somebody, um, you can see stuff kind of like carved on the walls back there. Oh, that's interesting. Anything important that you would say? It is a vaguely familiar looking symbol. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So what would you like to do? I guess I'm just going to follow Morgan. Okay. You go with Morgan right. towards the train car. Um, uh, Gail and Mercy, you guys make your way towards the back right uh, near the, uh, the back room. Um, you see that the door is closed, uh, but the keys have been left inside the lock. Convenient. Gonna try turning the keys. Uh, the keys don't turn freely in the lock, but it appears to be probably unlocked. Oh, okay. By what you're saying. Gonna like do one of those, like open the door and just kind of like throw the door a little bit, just in case, like standing back. Yeah, just see if someone's like sneaking, like hiding behind the door. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, you throw the door open really quickly, kind of step back a little bit. Uh, you do not see anybody uh, waiting inside of there um, uh, to surprise you. Uh, okay. But instead, you do see that um, inside of this room, there's a small desk, uh, as well as a chair and a few filing cabinets. Um, on the desk, 
uh, just kind of set down, uh, is a familiar looking tablet. Okay. Um, and at the kind of the back right hand corner of this room, there is what appears to be, um, again, a familiar looking shrine. Um, it appears to be uh, carved, uh, hewn out of stone, um, and very well, chiseled, very well and intricately chiseled. It appears to be depicting the symbol of an eye made of gears. Okay. Uh, and then you notice that on the wall, um, there are eyes made of gears carved all over the wall. I want to poke them. You poke them. They appear inert. Uh, are these the, to clarify, are these the thing that Maddie saw? Yes, these are the things that Maddie noticed from, with a rather high perception check. That's weird. What? What's in the trolley? Uh, I'll be getting to you in a bit. Uh, first, oh, I'm going okay. to get to uh, Cole. Uh, Cole, you're deciding to poke one of the uh, machines? Yeah, at this point, Cal would probably poke it. Yeah, you poke it. It's cold. Unmoving. Poke it again. Poke it again. It is cold and unmoving. It's also pretty sturdy. It doesn't really appear to be like jostling back and forth all that much. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you poke it, you do notice that you're like one of the, like this like plate you poke kind of like pushes in a little bit. Like not like it, you know, not like it's made of gelatin, but like it has a bit of give in this one spot. Like it's you know on an arm or a spring or something to kind of like cushion. Mm -hmm. A little bit, um, but it appears to be unmoving for the moment. Uh, I know Cal's real smart, but is there any way he would know if like this thing could like come to like life at any moment or anything? Or, um, you could definitely roll Arcana with disadvantage because I do not know know how you would know the answer. It's fine. Cal's real smart. Yeah. He's wondering. Yeet. Um, you're not entirely sure. Maybe there's a way, but you don't really know. Uh, I guess if the robot's not doing anything when he pokes it, even though it says do not touch, I guess he would go over to the back office just because if there's papers like last time, he'd need to he'd be the easiest to translate them. Okay. Um, now Morrigan and Madeline, uh, you guys make your way over towards the trolley and inside you see that, uh, there are numerous cabs to this trolley, uh, and the pseudo dragons are just flying in and out of it and in and out of it. And they're just, uh, coming and going as they please. And you see that the inside of this entire trolley has been more or less made into their nest. Um, you notice that there are numerous locations where uh, there may have been cushions and seats for people to sit, uh, which have been torn up and mm -hmm. kind of like matted in little uh, circular shapes. Nest? Yeah, little nests where something may be li uh, living and nesting. Uh, a few of them do have pseudo dragons currently sleeping in them. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see that the pseudo dragons all are, are flying further back into the trolley. Why? I'm hmm. gonna follow them. Yeah. Okay. You do something with? Yeah. Coming with? Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, you do uh, so. Uh, making your way go. further back into the trolley, um, you make your way through a few cabs, about, uh, I'm gonna say about three or four of them, uh, all of which appear to be uh, mainly composed of seats and the like. Um, and then uh, towards the very back of it, uh, you find um, something different. Um, it appears to be a room uh, that, well, the entrance of the room appears to have a metal door with um, this pane of glass that was once there. Uh, the glass has been smashed in, clearly. Smashed um, in. Smashed Smash. in. Like, from where you guys are standing, someone took a fist and went pow and punched the glass in to get in. I'm gonna try and open the door. Okay. Okay. You try to open uh, up the door. Uh, you would see that this one does not appear to be opening as well. It looks like it has some kind of a hinge that would like kind of make it swivel. 
Uh, and it doesn't really appear to be moving all that well. Uh, but you see, there are a lot of pseudo dragons in there. You're looking inside, inside, and there's a room filled with crates and barrels and uh, bags and stuff like that. And there are pseudo dragons everywhere in this room. Everywhere. Was was there anything of interest along the way while we were walking through the uh, area? Um, you could have rolled, say, an investigation check to try and find stuff. Can I roll that now? I didn't want to interrupt your your telling me. You very well could. And, and if that's the case, I will say that Maddie, you would be moving up towards the door to, to kind of get okay. around there because okay. Morgan's occupied. Okay. Can I roll investigation? E? Oh. Um, nothing remarkable in here, no. But uh, looking around the uh, first few cabs, uh, you would see that a couple of the pseudo dragons have things in their nests. Mm-hmm. Like in a couple of them, you see like shiny looking rocks. Uh, and like other, think... other pretty looking things. Uh, one of them looks like it has some earrings that are like kind of stuffed into the nest. Can we all know what I'm going to do? <laughs> oh, God. Um, can I try and mage hand them out of the nests without disturbing any of the Sway the Dragons? Yeah, you can certainly try. <laughs> oh, the, my favorite words. Um, slide of hand? Yeah, slide of hand. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> Yeah. That's an uh, you, you, success, you successfully managed to steal. What were you trying to go for? Um, the, earrings. the earrings and hopefully any gems I saw. Okay. Well, they aren't exactly gems. <laughs> they are, shiny rocks. Let me they, are, they are shiny rocks. <laughs> uh, you are, you're basically stealing from magpies. <laughs> However, if you find the right rich, old, rich couple of dwarves <laughs> with a sugar daddy, <laughs> was you can convince gnomes. them of anything. They were gnomes. I was like, they were gnomes. Whatever. Yeah. Um, Short class. You would you would have a, a small set of uh, simple hoop. Uh, they appear to be maybe silver uh, earrings. Um, you're assuming that they're probably as old as the rest of the things in this in this city, which means not quite old. Um, but still, simple silver hoop earrings uh, and a few shiny rocks. Um, okay. A couple of them have some nice shiny like bands on them, like bright blue ah. and green and reds. Um, but they don't look like any kind of precious gem that you know of. I can still put them in something. Um, after, <laughs> after I find, after I find what I've, after I've gone through anything of interest, um, I'm going to meet up Maddie by the door again. Okay. So add air quotes, shiny rocks to your inventory <laughs> <laughs> and Plush. ancient silver hoop earrings. Plush. I put yes, antique man. silver hoop earrings. But sure. Could I use thaumaturgy on the door? If that's possible. In I use thaumaturgy to open the way. Oh, to open the door. Um That's certainly an interesting idea. Um I'll say give me a charisma roll. Because Fine. I believe that's your spell well, that's your spell mod. Yes. Okay. Charisma. It's plus um, fives because you have some insanely high charisma. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, your spell attack bonus is eight because it's also your proficiency bonus. So, do you want me to roll the charisma or not? <laughs> yes, roll roll one d twenty plus eight. One d oh okay, so one d and then there's a, you can just add plus three to that. So twenty three. I'll see. So this will be the twenty-three. Uh, yeah, oh. I'll say. I'll say. With that, you would manage to make the door kind of hinge open slightly, uh, mm-hmm. and you guys have access to the back cab. Oh while my. this is occurring, Ro and Dea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're back here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have your little horned pseudo dragon friend who is uh, nearby, but not. Uh, you know, he's not right next to you. He has kind of stepped away a few feet. Uh, and Ro, uh, you see the big chubby fella has landed on a nearby seat and kind of like not, like knocked it slightly. He watches it kind of wobbles back and forth as he kind of like lands on it and starts chewing. It's making these loud. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough of that now. <laughs> um, Ro's going to walk over to the fat bastard. <laughs> He was rude. It was unnecessary. She's uh, she's gonna. I don't know. I don't. I know what I would do, but I don't know what Ro would do because I would reach out and try to pet him because I love babies. Um. 
I, like, yeah. so I don't have to continue making the noises. Imagine this thing is making the, no yeah. the nasally yeah. snorting sounds of a pug. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love him. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna That's use inspiration right. from my childhood for what Ro would do. Is there any part of the candle that is still, like, intact, big enough to grab? Yeah, you probably got a few oh, inches no. you can still grab hold of. Rose gonna try to grab her fucking candle back. <laughs> Roll sleight of hand. A little turd man. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that that actually makes sense. Yeah, normal. I'll get a g Okay. Uh. Candy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll. I'll... No. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you kind of like pull it loose from like the suit of dragging his mouth and go. <laughs> And like kind of grabs, like snaps at it, and you kind of like hold it up a little bit, and it flies up onto your arm. You feel it kind of weight your arm down slightly because <laughs> this one looks like it might weigh about like ten pounds. <laughs> so I thought uh, Ro, Ro is struggling. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it kind of like is like now like kind of like hugging onto your arm and scuttling up and trying to get towards the candle. Chalky boy. Oh God. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Rose gonna shake her arm. Oh. <laughs> get off, get off. Get off. My candle. You just, you just you just hear this faint <laughs> as it just gets flailed slightly. It does not appear to be coming loose. Oh my god. Um. Rose gonna walk towards Dea because Dea seems to like know how to work these things. <laughs> She's just gonna hold out her arm with a little thing on it and be like, help! <laughs> Daya, while while she is doing this, uh, what are you trying to do to your little horn pseudo dragon friend? Um, she was going to, uh, like, take out another candle, not show it yet, uh, she's gonna have it. Um, and then she's gonna kinda, like, try to quietly and slowly scoot closer to the dragon, pseudo dragon. Okay, you do so, it kinda, like, looks up to you. Head kind of like perched down slightly, eyes wide, and she just kind of like coos at, basically coos at it in a draconic like, "Hey there, buddy! Like, not gonna hurt you, sweet boy, aren't you? You know, stuff like that." <laughs> yeah, okay, so it moves towards you a little slower this time, like, like not as cautiously, but still like it's moving slow, Ooh. and it'll take it and it'll kind of stay. It's it moves back like a foot this time and. Now it just kind of keeps chewing on it and eating anything. Uh, and then Bro Trip comes over. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this fat one tried to steal my candle! <laughs> I got it back, but at what cost? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Dana kind of gets on her knees and uh, grabs the fat pseudo dragon with both hands and like tries to kind of pull it off. <laughs> okay, you kind of like try and pull it loose, like. What about the candle? The which what? Which the candle? one that it's trying to eat. <laughs> Rose, well, Rose still hands. has it, doesn't she? <laughs> like she's gonna take it and put it in the hand that's farthest away from the thing. <laughs> that will be that will actually have to require another slide of hand check because it's oh. actively chewing on it and like grabbing okay. onto it to try and eat it. Okay. It's like. No! No! <laughs> Wait, no! Wait, no! Wait, you're 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 aren't you? you? Halfling. Better, better, <laughs> it's better. like it's like it's like it's like you gave your cat a chunk of chicken and you're trying to take it away now. Think of it like okay, this. I, I'm just gonna say as someone who has a, a lot of cats, that has become second nature to me. I have ninja hands <laughs> in real life. <laughs> fucking bam. And Ro displaying some of Jill's ninja hand talent, <laughs> very swiftly grabs the can uh, the candle away from this chunky little pseudo dragon as Dea pulls it off of her arm. Uh, Dea, there is now a large pseudo dragon kind of like flailing slightly and flapping its wings. Great. Making these odd snorting noises trying to get towards that candle. <laughs> Do you really still want that candle, bro? It's more of the principle of the matter now. <laughs> he tried to steal it from me when I just wanted to have a cute little moment, but no, he had to be a bastard, so I'm gonna be a bastard back. <laughs> Aren't you a bastard all the time? Oh, you don't hear this. Head of mercy. I know, Those I know. Mercy head is like, you're always a bastard. <laughs> no, no, she's a bastard. Everyone's telling her. She knows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like, well, I don't really bastard man. know what to do with this guy. 
<laughs> Rose gonna look the dragon in the eye and she's gonna throw the candle at other dragons. <laughs> so Just so you're probably throwing it at the horned one that's the closest one nearby. Yeah. He seems polite. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of like looks down at the candle, at this munching on the one that it already has. Just kind of looks at it for a little bit and waits as it keeps chewing on the one it has. The fat cedar dragon is just kind of like flailing, flailing. <laughs> Give me my candle. <laughs> uh, I just just roll me a handle animal check, guys. Uh, we now both of us. Me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a ten. Oh. And a five. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> It keeps flailing and wriggling and trying to get loose. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're not sure what to do with the pseudo dragon, Dan. Uh, so, Gale and uh, Mercy. Okay, we're leaving it like that. <laughs> uh, Mercy wants to dig through the table now. Gotcha. You're gonna dig through, dig around the table. Yeah, and anything she finds that has like writing still on it, she's gonna make a small pile for. Gotcha. Uh, you'd find that um, there are a few things that look like they still have writing on them, um, and you're not too—you aren't sure what they say because you can't read the language. Um, there are a few things that do still possess some writings on them, including this little, like little, like like a small little stack of paper that has like a little binding on it to keep it all together. Uh, and you just kind of like move that off to the side, and you make a pile of stuff that has writing that is visible. Um, um, just roll me an investigation check. Oh boy, also, I'm so Dale, good. what are you doing? So good at that. Gail's just looking, just kind of looking through the room, just to see if there's any, anything that looks like a hint or anything where maybe one of the mantles is. Um, does it look like, does it, is there like a color in the building? Do we know which line this is for? Yes, you would, you would see on the top of the trolley, uh, it has, um, uh, let me double check. Orange. Okay. Uh, so you'd see that the roof of the trolley itself is bright orange. Okay. I rolled real well. It did. <laughs> um, and if you're looking for, like, hints as to where the mantle is, I can have you roll a perception check. Well, actually, okay. no. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Perception. Fine. <laughs> perception? I, I, yeah. I can do whichever one. Yeah, perception. Okay. Hey. Um, Mercy, digging through the desk, you don't find a whole lot of note. Um, it looks like there's a few a few objects that looks like they may have been maybe a pen, some feathers, stuff like that. Um, you would see um, that there do appear to be some gouges on the actual desk itself. Uh, and Gail, you would pick up on this too. Uh, there appear to be these uh, these small sets of gouges that were on the desk, um, and they kind of like abruptly start. Like something was there, it didn't get scratched, and then these little scratch marks appeared as something possibly flew off or moved away. Hmm. Those little bastards take something. Also, I feel like I made a mistake. I did. Uh, the Amazon stuff is not in this one. I mixed up the lines. I apologize. Got <laughs> it. All right. There's something here. But that's clearly all of this. Hey, Kana. Yes. Can I pull out my map to make sure there's nothing hidden here that would show it? Something could have been for it? There is not. Okay. That will basically uh, only work for, like, hidden walls. Yeah, I know, but I wall. didn't know if something would be placed there to make something move. Fair point. You don't know. It doesn't say on the map. Okay. At what point do Cal and Rudy get there? So, we're... Oh, yeah, yeah. Rudy, where, where, where are you doing, Rudy? I, I literally said... Uh, I, I put it in the thing. I guess oh, you didn't see it. Uh, after I finished mm -hmm. with the boxes, I would want it to go to the office. She would have... Oh, yes. Uh, you would show up in the office very shortly afterwards. And Cal, um, I'll say you, we'll get to you after this next round. Uh, well, yeah, after this next round, because basically... Gotcha. Yeah, you'll be showing up 
pretty much immediately after this. Okay. Uh, but Rudy There's... would be showing up right about this time. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's something missing here. I'm not sure what it was, but it might have been the... Uh... How big is the spot? Uh, not terribly big. Would one of the tablets fit on it, or is it something... Uh, no, I believe I already mentioned that there's a tablet on. The yeah, desk. I know that's why I was asking. Yeah, it is not. It is the tablet is off on a different. Like it's on the right side of the desk. It's at the left side of the desk. Uh, if I put my glasses on, do I see anything magical? Uh, the tablet. Besides the tablet, that's it. Okay. Um, not in this location. No, as okay. I, I completely confused the lines, so there is none of the amazing stuff in this room. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, whoopsies! My brain is not good. Uh, yeah, the tablet is definitely magical. Um, you mm. see, the pseudo dragons are faintly magical. Mm-hmm. Um, but anything else in here? No, no. not really. Uh, and as for like roughly how large it is, uh, like you'd say that like the the I'm gonna say like the claw marks like for four and front legs are like seven-ish inches away like the like the back legs are over here and then six inches ahead are the front legs where something was is it about uh, how big are the pseudo dragons about the size of a house cat hmm. you'd have to make a survival check to know for sure okay can i do that yeah okay not very good at it but you know nope <laughs> i'll yeah, try good. she would try anyway oh there you go. Oh, um, Jesus you Christ, pick... I've done two one nat 20s in this game. What the fuck? Um, doing, doing a little bit of searching around this room, uh, you get a feeling that, that uh, those claw marks are almost certainly from a pseudo dragon. Okay. Small, really, uh, it looks like they have like the, the four, uh, four claws and the one back claw that's kind of like towards the back of the actual paw itself. And it all looks like it's that. Um... Uh, but you also note that it looks like a few uh, papers were not knocked off the desk by Mercy, but instead knocked off some time ago by something else. So perhaps the pseudo dragon came in, grabbed something, and flew away. Weird question: Is it like an abs- uh, is it like a weird leap in logic, or like a, a jump in logic to assume that they've kind of made this their nest? It's a fair assumption. Yeah, okay. All right. You you realize for this, for this to be their nest, there probably have to be a pretty nearby food source. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, they, well and their food is like wax, right? Kind of wax. Like, yeah. There must be something... It's a weird thing to think, but there seem to be a lot of these pseudo-dragons, and they seem to feast on wax, so there must be something around here that's... A lot of wax, because you wouldn't make your home near something that's not... If you can easily get food, you would stay in a place where you could easily get food. And it seems like a lot of them are here. Perhaps they can easily get food from somewhere nearby. It's just a thought. That that makes sense. We have to find the candle maker. We can uh, give it a bit of a look. I don't know how much time we want to spend on this. We got to be finding that mantle. We should talk to Cal about that. We should. I... We can do the thing that he does. Cal, you'd probably be showing up right about now. What about me? You'd be <laughs> showing up like right about uh, now. Figuring, uh, we think there's some sort of uh, candle grouping around here, because uh, it looks like they made a nest in here. Um, well, obviously, we need to get to finding that mantle. We need to get going on this. Uh, can you do your, your thing to see if it's maybe in here? Yeah, I want to do a bit of looking around since I don't know what all we're doing today, but yeah, I can do it. But all before right. that, is there anything you wanted me to look at in here? Since when our last time I looked at... Mostly holds found. up the stack of paper she found. Lovely. I will skim through them, I guess. Uh, skimming through them, uh, they appear to be uh, largely cler- clerical, uh, mm-hmm. as in not like priestly clerical, yeah, but no. more like notation clerical. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
for the most part, it all appears to be a lot of, you know, X amount of uh, visitors this day, mm -hmm. X amount this this day. Largely, for the most part, it doesn't uh, appear to be interesting. Um, I'll have you just roll me... Sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm going to have great roll me an investigation check. Yeah, I'm so oh, good no. at this. Oh, I'm no. great at this. Oh my god! Oh, god. <laughs> That's two ones you rolled! The duality oh, of man! Zero. <laughs> I really um, Oh my god. This, this fucking... This numbers and math bullshit is making your head spin. This is just... This is useless. This is useless. Yeah. Guys, uh, unless you're interested in Mrs. Pennyworth's formal complaint against the staff treating her dog poorly, I don't think there's anything here. So you don't see anything that says wax on there? How about we hold on to them no. like a bag of holding? It's like no with a one. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. I... <laughs> she got really upset about her dog, yo. Anyway, locate object. Funny. Mantles. Good improv. <laughs> Can I just take the papers and like stick them in my bag? Because I want Rudy kind of wants to look at them anyway, like later. Yes. Uh, just add uh, just add orange line um, papers. Okay. Yeah, because I can comprehend languages later when we have a break and do that. So she would like to do that. Okay. Gotcha. Orange you... orange line papers. Yes. Just okay. papers. It's because that's what it is. You're, it's a various mess of papers that Mercy has collected. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. Okay. Um, uh, there was also the tablet, which is sitting on the desk. Uh, oh. And Cal, you're casting a spell for the mantle. Uh, yes, locate object. Hoo ha ha. Cool. Uh, I will get back to you guys once we go over to Morsi and Morgan. I'm sorry, Morgan Morsi and, and Matt. Morsi. 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 Um, you guys have uh, opened up the door to the what appears to be a cargo area. I would like to check the. Sorry to interrupt. I would like to check for traps before we go in. Investigation check. Alright. I really should have made an investigation of proficiency. Why didn't I do that? Wait, no, I did. Okay, it's uh, fine. Or 20. Um, you do not appear to see anything in the way of traps, but you do see quite a few of these pseudo dragon nests. Ooh. I'm going to avoid them as I enter the room. No, they, they, would, they would notice you guys, and they just kind of like poke their heads out and look at you. Hmm. Yeah, but stepping on the nest, that's rude. No, 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 like, they're up high. They're not on the ground. Oh. oh. That's yeah, they, like, they have their nests actually placed up high, and, like, the beams that crisscross across the um, uh, the top of the trolley, and insides of, like, bags and luggage and stuff like that. And can I make an overall investigation check of the room? I'd be perception, perception to look for not hidden stuff, investigation to look for, like, that's hidden things like traps. That's what I meant. Ooh. What about you, Maddie? What do you want to do? I guess I could, um... Well, I kind of wanted to check if there was stuff under the nest from the pseudo dragons. So would that be perception or investigation? Um... It would... It would almost certainly be... <laughs> okay. Um, like, are you looking for, like, something valuable? No, it's just nest? in just in general. If there's anything under, I'll them, just I'll just say it's a perception check then. Okay. Perception. Fuck. <laughs> I had to look. Maddie, I just heard, you, you move over towards one of the nests and kind of like try to lift it a little bit, uh, <laughs> like using your staff's head as like a, like a little bit of a stick to kind of poke it, uh, and you watch as this one pseudo dragon just kind of pokes his head out at you. And looks at you and kind of like makes this chirping noise a little a little angrily. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> flies down at you and starts circling around you. Oh god, no! <laughs> uh, while this is occurring, Morgan, you're searching around the place for uh, just anything. Yeah, I okay. wanna I I wanna poke into the boxes, but I don't want to take too much time. Again, gotcha. I wait for everyone uh, Poking around uh, the the cargo bay, you, you'd see that um, there are a few boxes that looks like they have been chewed into, and others that looks like they have, look like they have they have not. Uh, all the labels on them appear to be mostly the same. Like okay. there are there are a bunch of boxes that all look the same. That oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, that look the same, that are all labeled the same, and they're all roughly the same size. Uh, and a bunch of the ones at the top have holes chewed in them and some of the ones at the bottom. But towards the middle, there are a couple that weren't broken into. Um, it looks like it's held in place by some nails, which are likely rusty by this point, and some wood, which is likely likely old by this point. So you might be able to pry it open. I would like to pry I would like to pry it open and I also like to put my goggles on. So I because I'm yeah. Okay. You'll Just you'll have a, I, I will keep that in mind. Um prying the box open, uh you see that uh there are numerous, numerous wrapped paper packages that have been bound up in twine or were bind up in twine. Some of them are starting to rot away. Mm-hmm. I need I'd like to take one package out carefully and cut it open with my knife. Uh, they are candles. They're, they're candles, okay. Yeah, large, large, um, large packages of candles. They're all just candles. They, they are many, many candles. They all appear to be um, roughly the same and very, very much uniform. Um, you're sure with some digging, you might be able to find some things that are a bit interesting, but you'd have to I do a like... lot of looking. Ah. Uh... Is there is there anything that's pinging me as magical? Uh, I'll have you do another perception check for that. Perception? Gotcha. Mm. Um. The the only thing that you immediately notice as magical is a a larger. You're you're cutting out, Connor. I can't hear you. Uh, The only thing you notice as magical is a larger kind of magical aura off towards the back. I would like to check that out. Okay. Uh, making and your way back there. Also encourage Maddie to like, come with me, just in case. <laughs> I'm you coming. You, Maddie, to Maddie, you see this to Maddie as she is like, kind of like swatting her hands up in the air trying to get the pseudo dragon to leave her alone. Uh, Please. He needs some help. No, I'm fine. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm coming. Just let me deal with this. <laughs> Jolly. <laughs> Jolly, Maddie, you start uh, you start to hustle off away, following Morgan behind, and the pseudo dragon eventually leaves you alone, uh, chirping and um, squawking <laughs> angrily at you. Never should have been dead, honestly. Yeah, I've messed around. I've <laughs> I used to watch birds a lot. They don't like it when you mess with their nests. Not my fault they're on this island, okay. Well, um, it's not my fault you touched the nest either. Look, I just want to get out. Can we just swallow okay. what we needed to? All right. She's going to push forward to the box of box of magic items of suspicion. Uh, moving over to this one box, uh, you see that quite a bit of it has been chewed away. Uh, and you're looking at what appears to be some kind of a humanoid form that has a good chunk of it that has just been chewed away. Like I'm talking like the like say like the upper arm, like the shoulder the right arm right shoulder and then like the head and the neck and the shoulder blades has all been chewed away and it looks to be just made out of this wax. Uh, but as you look at it and stare at it a bit more, it looks like the wax starts to kind of regenerate a bit more. Huh? That's fucking creepy. That's um, so weird. Morgan's gonna take out her rapier and she's gonna poke it. <laughs> uh, you poke it. It does not move. That's... As you jab at the uh, this clay creature, uh, a pseudo dragon kind of crawls up from down below, uh, like down lower in the box, and just keeps chewing on the, the clay creature. Sorry, not clay, wax creature. Okay. Okay. You got any ideas? Do we be? want to? Do we want to try to wake it up? Is it even alive? Be my guest. I don't know. I don't know. The last time we did that, did a dragon try to get my hat, but I don't want to try anything. I'll protect you if it tries to come at your hat. The dragon's ball. <sighs> okay. Mm, what could we do? Mm, what could we? Is there anything, that's the only thing magical around here? Nothing else of interest or of note? Are there any weapons nearby or 
indications of With whatever an 11, the fuck you do not pick up any others. Damn it. Is it seriously the only magical thing in this room? It's the only thing she picks up with an 11. <clears throat> and there are numerous boxes with numerous materials inside of them, so it's kind of tough to see. Can I just... Hey. Can I, like, pick a random box and stick my head in? Or would that give me disadvantage on, uh, perception? You're... You, you'll be able to find, like, a random thing, but it'll be a, a random thing. <sighs> Alright, uh... Let's try and wake this thing up. Oh god. What could go wrong? Um, we're in a enclosed area, so and there's only one way to get out. Are there any windows? Is there a window? Uh, at, at these back cabs, no. The front cabs, yes. Is there an there is there another door out? Yeah, it goes further back. Is it blocking that entrance though? No. Oh, okay. <sighs> I was a completely wasted. <laughs> okay. But how did we wake it up, though? I f figured you had some sort of spell? Um, I could use Thaumaturgy again, but what do I do? <laughs> you could do everything with Thaumaturgy. <laughs> I tried to think of what you could do. I could. I don't know. Cause flicker or do do you want me to call someone see if they can help? Most likely, it's the only thing we can, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my communication thingy and go. Guys, you might want to take a look at this. All right, we'll get to that later then. <laughs> oh great! Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, Rowan Day, what are you guys doing? Well. <sighs> Uh, after a couple seconds of, like, holding a squirming dragon, she's going to, like, turn towards, a uh, discarded candlestick and, like, very gently put the dragon on the ground <laughs> and be gotcha. like, uh, <laughs> and then Draconic, she's gonna be like, uh, don't go too crazy. <laughs> Chunky. It it, it grabs it grabs all the the uh, discarded candlestick and flies away. The horned one is still staying nearby. Yeah. She wants to pet it. <laughs> Just roll me a uh, handle animal check. You can do it with advantage as you haven't really done anything hostile towards it. Yeah, she's just going for like a finger on the head, basically, uh, or like under the chin. It's a sixteen. Yeah. It, it will allow you to do so. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, Ro, what are you doing? Ro has already fled the scene. <laughs> Where are you going? I mean, she's just gonna follow where everyone else went, like, disappeared into, I don't know, just away from the fuckers, you know? That's oh. tough, they're everywhere. Little, little bastards, I don't know. They're like uh, sky rats. <laughs> Sky rats. Uh, you basically got two options. You could head further into the train, uh, where you see mm. there are quite a few of these, uh, or you could head over towards the back room where the others are. Head to the back room. That's okay. where I'm gonna hang out. Uh, so, uh, you head over to the back room, uh, uh, where you see the others, uh, and we can more or less get to you guys now. Uh, Cal, you've cast the uh, spell for uh, to try and find. Um, this yeah. object? Locate object on the mantle, so I know if they're within a thousand feet of me. Uh, they're within a thousand feet of you. Um, you would begin to get a ping off in a direction uh, nearing towards the train. Or trolley, uh, how say. close does it seem? Um, fairly close. Alright, it feels like it's in the train. I think Morgan and Maddie went in there. Guess we should go follow them, or they get themselves into trouble. I resent that remark. You're not there. You don't hear this. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying that out of character. I, I, it does seem like everywhere there's a mantle, there seems to be problems, so you're probably correct about that. I mean, hey, I poked those little robot 
statue things didn't come to life, so I think we're golden. Why do you think they'd come to life? I mean, why not? Like, we apparently went to some other plane. We are on an island that's flying. Like, why couldn't they come to life? We also have a bad track record with, like, robot things here. Yeah, they both make very good points. I, was, <laughs> I, can't, Aaron, I, was, I can't deny that. Aaron, I was literally about to be like, you both make very good points. That's yeah. literally <laughs> what I'm about to say, so that's fine. That seems so, correct. God is like, yeah, seems legit. <laughs> like, that's fair. That's valid. All right, I head towards the train and follow, and I lead I the way, following uh, my magic yeah. sensing. Right behind him. Gotcha. Gail, Mercy? Yep, following. Yep. Uh, Gail, your 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 antlers haven't started growing in fully yet, right? Oh, uh, what time of year is it? It's uh, let's see, we're it's at the summer, mid summer, summer sixth right? Of summer, summer. So they're probably starting to get a little there, but not. I'm, yeah, they're, they're starting to get there. Dragon. They won't they won't come to full till like early fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So yeah. they're, they're starting to get bigger, and like you have to kind of watch your head slightly. As you make, as you guys make your way into this train car, um, and all of you make your way in, you guys see what I described previously to the others. Um, mm -hmm. There are pseudo dragons everywhere, nesting all over the place. Um, Gail, you of note have to be a touch more careful, uh, as uh, if you don't pay enough attention, your antlers could thwack into a pseudo dragon or into one of their nests. Yeah. There seems Gale, to be. Gail's giving a bit of. He's not trying to go through everything. He, he's trying to give a little bit of distance. Just because yeah. this is going to be way too. Gail, Gail's doing a lot of bobbing and weaving. <laughs> so they seem. Do they seem to be getting as we go further back? There seem to be more, right? He's crash walking. Uh, there, are, yeah, there are quite a few. Like, but like, does it seem to like gather? Like, what I'm asking is, does it seem to like? Like, is there less, like, as we walk in, there's more gathered, so, like, there's, like, 10, and then there's, like, 20 as we get further into the car, is what I'm asking, I guess? Yes. Okay. Uh, perhaps whatever the thing is that, that they're feeding off of is in here? Because there seem to be more and more as we get further in. Uh, Cal, judging by your spell, um, it, it seems like the, the, the ping you're receiving is further back along the train. Well, the mantle's further back in the train, and I suppose it makes sense. Sharks always go where there's fish. There, there must be something wax, maybe? Who knows? Maybe those two have found something. How about this, how about this moment? <laughs> uh, you would receive the, the notification from them trying to call you. Uh, perhaps they I, did. <laughs> I just ignore it, and I just walk forward until I meet them. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. Uh, so... Morgan, he's not picking up. She's gonna call again. <laughs> Cal's gonna keep ignoring until he's like, Hello. Still not picking up. But with, your passive, but with, passive, keep... with your passive perception, you can faintly hear the note, the tone coming from his um, communication disc as it is getting closer and closer. <laughs> it's coming from inside the train! <laughs> it's coming from, no. <laughs> Morgan's gonna like glare at it and then glare at the door and go, bastard. And then, like, <laughs> stick it in your pocket. Cal's going to walk the room. So you called. What's up? We found something. Well, someone, maybe? What? She's going to point at the wax man. <laughs> uh, yes. Wax man. You see, you see what appears to be a wax... <laughs> Shut up. Uh, you see what appears to be a wax figurine of a humanoid. Um, you know, bipedal two arms, two legs. Probably had a head at one point, not right now. Um, but as, like I said to the others, as you watch it more, uh, you see that the wax kind of starts growing back a little bit. Growing back. Uh, uh, with with the glasses, does it say what kind of magic it is? Yeah. Uh, what kind of... Fuck. <laughs> with the tech magic, it does. So, like, uh, yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to... Uh, let me check what kind of magic these things emit, because I... Cause do not know. Because Rudy would like to identify if people are willing to wait 10 minutes, but you know. Then I want to know. My spell's what... gone, so no. Okay. I mean, we. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that. Uh, no, that's, this is me trying to 
Take your <laughs> fuck out. At oh. some point, I would. I mean, obviously, I would like to bring the mantle first. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe after we get the mantle, we can figure this out. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it would be an enchantment. Okay. Hmm. Well, I know we're trying to find the mantle. Uh, is it nearby, by the way, Talon? Yes. <laughs> It is, it, is, it is somewhere in one of these caps. Either this one or the one just in front of it. Can I put my glasses on and see if I can tell, if I can see it, like, through any of the... You'll you'll be making a perception check as there's a lot of shit around you. That's very en- fair. Enough to the point where I can probably block... Yeah, no, that's glasses. extremely fair. A little better than me, me, please. Yeah, I'll try. You have a Thank higher... Thank God. Hmm. Uh, Jesus Christ! I'm doing um, looking around, uh, you would note that there are uh, there there are a few what appear to be magical effects nearby. Um, um, moving like kind of back and t- back and forth, kind of like trying to judge that. I'm guessing. Cal. Uh, yeah, just sort of triangulate. Uh, it it, like, it feels like that? it might be like kind of towards the front of the next gap. Okay. Um, but Erudite, looking around, you see that there are a few other magical effects that are in here somewhere. Um, uh, but it looks like a couple of them are kind of like buried in boxes that are like below a couple of grates that you'd have to like dig up. Um, but they are there. You well, see, they're... I'm gonna say you see you see like two or three magic magical effects in this cab. So I sort of point to where they are. There's, there's something there, possibly, something there, possibly, and something there, possibly. So I just sort of point, but they're under things. Cal will sort of stick his thumb towards the door. Well, the mantle's more this way, I'm afraid. Do you want to get the mantle first? Or yes, do you want to... of course. Yes, yes. Okay. What the hell? Turn off the fucking phone. <laughs> I We're at the it movie, did. bitch. <laughs> the, ma- the mantle is the most important thing, so yes. All right, you guys make your way into the next cab. Uh, leaving the... Uh, the wax creature to be slowly consumed. Um, real quick. Yes. Did we grab my sister? You did not. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I was wondering. I wanted to be like, I grabbed my sister on the way past, but I, I have a feeling nope. she wouldn't, considering that the pseudo dragon seems to be friendly towards her right now. <laughs> she doesn't even notice. She's you. busy. She's just like, so okay, maybe, well, have fun. Maybe someone should. She is. Her. She is the horse girl. <laughs> She is the dragon girl. girl. Dragon girl. That's fine. Let Daya be play with the ponies. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no, no. Oh no. It's fine. We'll just yell real loud if we need her. Yeah. Um, we also have a communication disc. Yeah, it's true. It's fine. I'm fast. Yeah, it's it's true. You have mobile, right? No, but oh. I. Uh, Bonus broke. action dash. Ninety. That's what okay, it Sonic. Sonic. Hi, the Sonic um, can kill God. Uh, or is it God? And I do not care if there's a difference. All right, Stop. Right, I hate yeah. this. <laughs> uh, making your way into the next cab. Uh, you see this one looks very much like the last. Uh, the glass on the door leading to this one has also been smashed in. Can I um, tell what smashed it? Um, You'd probably have to roll a survival check? Sure. I'm wise. I'm giving it a pretty high DC. <laughs> Uh, you're not entirely no. sure. You don't think it was anything particularly large, you know? It doesn't look like someone took a hammer to it. Okay, cool. Well, well, sorry, I should say, like a like a war hammer to it. Mm-hmm. But it looks like something smaller smashed into it. Is there any blood on the glass? Um, no. None that he can see. Okay. Can I look around this thing? Because, you know, again, like they said, every time we've run into a mantle, there's been something trying to kill us. So do I see anything that immediately poses a threat? Perception check. <laughs> yes, there's a tremendous dragon that is sitting <laughs> in the very back of this, staring you down. No. Like, legit? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, the mother of pseudo dragon is like, oh no. Yeah, there are 15 but it, dragons. But it's fucking true. There is it's paradise. Uh, it's paradise. It's paradise. <laughs> the promise. Bro's gonna have an orgy. Uh, no, there does not appear to be anything that is an active threat. I mean, aside from some mildly perturbed pseudo dragons, but you don't. It doesn't seem like you're gonna be reaching towards their nuts anytime soon, so they're not really hostile. Are there any valuables? 
Can I roll a perception check for more shiny things? You would have to roll probably an investigation check to keep looking through things to find stuff. There's a difference between looking for something that's magical and, sh and stands out to you and digging through shit. I guess I will, since I've got my magic spidey sense, look for them. Oh, no. Yeah, you're, you're looking for something using your magic spidey sense, uh, which is different. Uh, you uh, are going to uh, eh, just roll me a perception check. You basically have advantage of it, so. Yeah. Just don't roll a one. Me or her? Uh, you, and then oh. she rolls investigation. Because oh, she's looking cool. for right. she's looking for shinies, and you're looking for. Hey, oh, 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 you get it at the time. Um, judging by the ping you're getting, motherfucker, and the Sorry. height of it, it's up high to the back right behind you, like above the door. What's there? You see a nest. Ah. Oh. oh, we're gonna make pastel. With a small pair of pseudo dragons kind of sitting there. Fuck. Is there anything special about these pseudo dragons? Do they, they are pseudo dragons. Or bigger? Or no, they, they look up, they look about the same. Uh, one, they look a bit smaller. Uh, like how, not, how? not. Like if I was, if I was to say, like compare it to an animal, like a little, like a little smaller than the average cat. Mm -hmm. How high is this? Um, not terribly high. Uh, like it's basically a train car, so. 10 feet up? Like, it's not that, not that high up. Okay, so it has to be high as useless. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's basically tall. on, like, a beam. Hmm? I mean, I mean, I can talk to them. You're tall. It's right there. If we should just point. grab it, then we'll have a bunch of them very mad at us. They can all alert their friends, and there's a lot of them. I don't mm -hmm. want to kill them. They're nice. They're not hurting us. Is it feeding off the mantle? We're not disturbing its food source. Just something it collected. <sighs> But if you've had something and, and someone just comes in and takes it from you, is it, can, is it possible to let me just talk, let me talk to them and see if sure. they'll like let us take it? I mean, go for it. Okay, Erudite's gonna try to talk to dragon uh, pseudo dragons. Okay. They don't really, um, she's gonna say in draconic. Hi. Um, I was just wondering. There's a thing up there that uh, we need. I was wondering if we could take it. We can give you something in return. Hmm. Let me quickly double check one thing. Namely, namely their intelligence. Yeah, I know. No, it's not high. <laughs> I don't think it's that high, which is shitty, but whatever. Everybody's trying. Because I don't really... She wouldn't want to hurt them, so... I'm actually going to look through my shit and see if I have anything that I can give them. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm sure you'll find something. Yeah, I have my old clothes. <laughs> I do. I have her old, her old, uh, her old, like, I'm stuff sure in they'll there. be really interested in that. Yeah. Yes, clothing. <laughs> I don't know. A mantle is clothing. Technically, it's just magic clothing. Uh, and well, we don't have candles. Anyone have candles? <laughs> I don't have candles. And if anyone else has candles, that if I had any, I gave them to my sister. Uh, I may have. You didn't some. give me any candles. Well, just I like, have any. That's what he's. Yeah, if he had he any. Said if there were any, I know where it's gone. <laughs> Does anyone have candles? I also fully them? believe Dave would just take them from his pack. Oh, she wouldn't. Got some. Y'all, you missed the one person who said they had them. <laughs> I didn't hear, I honestly didn't hear because like everything got said at once. Who said it? Yeah, I know. Wrong? Everything got said at once. Uh-huh. It's weird. I mean... That's so weird how that happened. I, I, said I, I said I may or may not have candles. Do you have... I, we need the mantle, so I don't want to... I don't want to take Morgan's, it. Morgan's going to fish into her bag and pull out one of her candles. Oh, wow. <laughs> there it is. And like wave it in front of them and be like, how just about, try and talk soothingly. How, how about you give it to me? I can, I can actually speak with them or they don't know if they speak back, but they understand me at least. 
Morgan's you... going to give her a look and just toss and give her the candle. <laughs> I don't hear me. I'm not being nice. I'm not being mean. Okay, whatever. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never mind. She's just gonna give her like a look of like an okay, okay, and okay. just hand it over. Uh, what? okay. They're they're not terribly stupid. Uh, I'll have you roll me a persuasion check. Oh goody. Because I roll so good yeah, on they're, those. They're actually about average, as intelligence goes. So they're smarter than Cal. <laughs> oh no, you're right, they are. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, Erin, I cannot roll persuasion to save her fucking life. <laughs> She's, even with the candle, it's not advantage. Like, I have a candle in my hand. Yeah, you were you were given the candle before you made uh, after you made the check. That's true. Look, I have I have a candle. I'm trying. Look, I'm trying. Everybody is trying, man. It just kind of <sighs> curls back up into its nest and kind of keeps its head poking out, looking down at you. Ah, uh, come on. Anyone else have more candles? I'm Rose? gonna pull out another candle. Oh, sorry. No, um, I'm. Oh. I'm gonna pull out another candle and I'm going to try and persuade. Listen, we. Oh, yeah. I have more of these. Persuasive people. I'm pers- I'm proficient. Shut up. Um. I do have more of these. If you want some, like hold it out and like wave it in front of them. Roll handle, handle. And animal handling. Damn it, not perception. Because you don't speak draconic. I speak draconic. That's why. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> you go. Wow. That twenty. Morgan has Damn. a bird! A dragon no, not well trained bird. Birds. It's, it's a very a very poorly trained bird. <laughs> She's working on it. She's gonna uh, like I know, okay. Uh so oh, no. one of the pseudo dragons kinda like sits up and looks down and then it like kinda digs around its nest for a little bit. And it holds up what looks like a shiny rock. <laughs> it kind of glimmers and glints. You see, it's kind of got all these rainbowy colors, and it just kind of seems to shift a little. It doesn't seem to have to be giving any sort of magic vibe, right? It seems mildly magical. Like I have the glasses on, so yeah, it is. It is magical. <sighs> but we need the mantle. It's, <laughs> it's very beautiful, but we need the mantle. It's. It can't understand you, for the record. You don't speak your comic. Can, I can, can you say translate that. for me? I, I mean, won't. it's showing, it's seeming willing to barter. I feel like it's understanding Morgan. She's clearly communicating with us. I'm taking out the rest no. of the candles because I have three <laughs> more after the one I'm holding. Can I? Yeah, give me the candles. Uh, 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 can I? Can I have? I'll try it again. I don't know. I just I, let me try again. Listen. I hand her another candle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you Morgan. To- Okay, I've got two. So I'm holding up two candles now. Uh, the the mantle, the it's black, right? No, not black. It's what color is it? It varies. Just, the the colors color? on those mantles have all been different. Uh, what co- can I see the mantle? No. No. It it looks like this, and she holds up the one that she's wearing. Uh, but it's probably a different color. Um. I'm actually like physically doing like the hand holding thing. Really <laughs> You're funny. actually holding yeah. something up. As, yeah, I, I, I am as well. I am as I, well. I genuinely do. You guys this both look like crazy people. Okay. I'm by myself. Hey, so I'm, I'm like, locked. In, I'm locked <laughs> in my dad's no office. My, there's no one in my house. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, she's just holding up. It, it looks kind of like this, and she like lifts the mantle, and then she's like, but it's a different color, probably. If if you could. Just give us that, and we can give you these. And if we have, I think we might have more. We can give you more. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. You can roll me another persuasion check. Oh goody! Can it be an advantage? Because I no. Hold, can it be an okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm trying again. It's fine. Let, let me roll another fucking one, guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what you did? You called it. Paradise is not as good as this. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm bad at this, guys. I'm being wow. super. It's not fair. Runners and friends. I know. You Every... called it too. I did. <laughs> Every day is not good at persuading. We have discussed this. This is like a thing with her. She's not good at persuading or religion thing. Although she's getting better at religion thing. 
Not good at persuading. I'm gonna look at Calron. Uh, gonna... No, 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 no. Let me talk. Oh, after, 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 uh, after. So. Yeah, I'm, I have an idea. I have a... Um, it will shake its head at you. <sighs> no, and then it will <sighs> kind of hop down out of its nest and fly off in a direction. Does it have the the shiny stone with it? Uh, the shiny stone. As it, it flies away, it leaves it in its nest with its with yeah, the other. Yeah, but there's still another. There's another one in there. Caleron. No. Uh, it it kind of flies off. Mm-hmm. It kind of flies back and sits in, in on a cha- on a crate and looks at you. It flies off again. I'm so bad at this. Uh, perhaps your sister would be better at this, Caleron. I mean, honestly, at this point, we tried to play nice. It didn't work. I, okay. Dale, do you want to give me a boost? Oh, my God. It flies off How? and lands. It flies back and lands on your erudite. And then it flies off in another direction again. <laughs> what is it doing? I kind of want to... It wants you to follow it. I'm going to go follow him. Fuck it. I'm going to go follow him. <laughs> he shows you the door. <laughs> yeah, follow it. <laughs> I'm so bad at Get this. Get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, You've well, disrespected me and my family for the last time. <laughs> I'm being nice. I'm just really bad okay. at talking. The pseudo dragon le- le- uh, leads you over near like a pile of crates and boxes and it's kind of starts sniffing around in this area like it's looking for something. Okay. I'll let it okay. do it. No, like, it just keeps sniffing around like it's looking for something. Oh, okay. I'm gonna... Do I, I saw the cameras in my hand, right? I do, because I haven't dropped them. I'm going to give it to him, because, like, fuck it. Like, I, there's nothing I can do. I don't know. I, I feel mean, like, not. She would feel mean just not, like, being like, oh, you didn't give me the thing I want. It kind of looks at it, and, like, it kind of shakes its head back and forth, and then it kind of, like, puts its paws up and starts clawing at the crates in front of it. Okay, I'm going to look through the crates. Uh, okay, you know there's a magical effect somewhere nearby here. I'm going to look through the crates that he's currently pawing at. Okay, just roll me a perception check. Quit! Don't roll me another one. You, you don't say that. that. <laughs> don't curse it. Hey. Okay. 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 That's better. <laughs> Again, I'm better at persuading. I'm just really bad at persuading, guys. <laughs> um, uh, looking in a few of the crates, you find that there's not a lot of notes. Um, uh, but in one of them, you do eventually find the source of the magic, and it's this odd, um kind of blue tinted it looks like a candle really okay like a light kind of uh lightish blue uh, like a powder blue candle and that appears to be where the magic is coming from what kind of uh effect is it giving evocation okay i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it and put it in my bag for now it, i mean i'm gonna the pseudo dragon looks up at you i will give him the candles i will the, give him the candle the, the blue one no, the, 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 I have the other candle still in my hand, the two ones. The it two it ones. knocks us out of the way and keeps looking at you. What do you want me to do? I'm very confused. Help. <laughs> she's, she's saying this all in Draconic, by the way. It, it flies up towards your bag and starts begging through it. Oh, you, you want something from me? Yeah. Okay. And, and it, it grabs onto the candle that you just, that you just put in your bag. Oh, so you want that candle. I guess you can have it. You found it. It's yours. I'm not going to be mad about it. Go ahead. Okay. It takes the candle, flies off. Uh, you guys, having kind of heard Rudy talking to an animal for a little bit, I've just kind of been waiting there and looking at each other like, what do we do now? Uh, yeah. And eventually, this pseudo dragon flies back in, holding something in its mouth. I mean, I was going to say, after Cal has given the nice thing I thought. So as soon as they left, Cal would have tried to get up to the nest. Okay. I was about to ask, how heavy is the nest? By, like, sight? Not particularly heavy. Okay. Morgan's gonna try and mage hand it. Okay. Gonna try and climb up there or have Gale give him a boost or something. As sneaky as possible. I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk um, Gale doing it because um, his horns. Okay. <clears throat> you, you're you're um, still trying to do this with the... Actually, no, you can't cast Mechanic because the Pseudo Dragon's in it. 
And that was a living creature. There's still a pseudo dragon in there, is what I'm saying. There's a pseudo dragon right in there. Oh, I just thought you were going to say he's just fat. No. (laughs) Weighs more than 10 pounds. If Rudy's all right. Well, mm, Connor, this is this is me asking if this could be applicable. Because Mage Hand Ledger Domain says I can retrieve an object and container worn or carried by another creature. Would that no. would okay? I figured I'd ask. Um, and I that's can more. Do this... That's more for theft, like pickpocketing. Well, I'm trying to steal it. Pick- um, you can't steal its home. You can't steal, you can't steal <laughs> someone's house. <laughs> I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna take this bird's nest. <laughs> you you would be the house. bird in it. it yeah, the dog. It I see this dog sitting in its bed. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm taking the bed. <laughs> There's still a. Is that not a thing people do? Like no. lifting things. <laughs> Uh, no. I, but the, the the difference is the dog knows that you just pushed it out of its bed and took the bed from it. <laughs> it just stares at you going like, what the fuck, dude? Why'd you do this to me? Okay, I'm gonna try and just like, can I not just try and like lift it up and see if something could go and grab the mantle no. underneath? Can I try? No. Okay. I can't see the mantle. No. Fuck! Do we know, the, do we know for sure that the mantle's underneath? It's up there somewhere, so it says. You know, down. you know, it's it's up there somewhere. And I've been trying to climb up, so. Okay. Right. Let's, boost let's just. Carl, just don't go grabbing anything. Just see if you can see where it is, and then I'll put you down, and we could kind of go from there. See which. Uh... Sure. All right. I will. Yeah, I was gonna lift Cal up. Sh- do I should I even have your roll strength check? <laughs> He's got twenty strength. No. I, I know. Like, Cal weighs like nothing. Roll a strength wreck. Don't roll a one. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a one. Don't do it. There we <laughs> go. Okay. No, I'm the only one who can call out ones. We're okay? fine. We're fine. <laughs> I, I, I was I was not terribly worried there. Uh, yeah, you lift him up, uh, and you're gonna be kind of like peeking in there, trying to try to get your eyes on it, mm-hmm. just to see what it's all in there. Um, looking inside of it, you see that kind of like pretty, not prismatic, uh, this like rainbow stone. It's, it's not too big. It's like about the size of, um, what's a good comparison? It's, it's like a good, like two inches long and like an inch wide, kind of circular. Uh, and like, it almost looks like the rainbow inside of it is like liquid. Pretty. It is very pretty. Uh, that is actually one of the things that you would easily notice. It is very pretty. Um, and you see that there is uh, cloth bo- below the pseudo dragon that is kind of poking out. You see this kind of very nice looking trim. Okay. Is there anything else that I notice in the nest? Inside of the nest, a couple of you know regular old stones, twigs. Uh, what well, looks like a bit of a bit of chain. That's about it. Okay. And what's the other pseudo dragon that's still in there doing? Uh, it is it is kind of like sta- standing there looking at you and kind of like it's backed up against its stuff. Can you grab that stone for me? <laughs> Cal's just sort of looking back at it like what? It just it just it'll keep staring at you no matter what. All right, so there's this fancy rock that's probably magic, and then there's the mantle, and then there's. Like, can I tell from its body language that this thing is scared, or is it like getting ready to pounce my face? It's it's a mixture out? of defensive behavior and like, it's it's defensive. You've seen it in dogs and cats. Like, it's it is protecting itself and something. Its hackles are raised. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. So, yeah, the mantle is definitely here. I can see it. Do you want me to just grab it? Uh, if you if you think you can, I I hate to do it, but we really need it. We need it. They didn't want to play nice, and Ru- Ru- actually, hold on. Do we know if Rudy found any? Rudy, would my thing be done by now? Uh, it'd be it'd be getting there. Um, I'm I I I think. Maybe you'd we be, have something. You'd be like, it's it's looking for something in your bag right now. Yeah, I think we maybe have something. Hold on. 
All right, cut. I'm going to put you down. At least we know where it is. Oh, let's see if Rudy found anything. Just, just hold on. Maybe I'd rather not have to, like, fight our way out of this place. It's rather small. I don't want to have to squish a bunch of these things. Oh, God. That's, like... such a, that's such a Aww. sad image. <laughs> it really I... is. We're trying to avoid this, guys. I feel like we could just sort of, like... Dragon! bat them away, and I, I don't think they could hurt us that badly. I'm not worried about them hurting us. I just don't want to squish a bunch of these things, because they're small and they're cute. Then don't squish them. Just shove them um, away. If they're trying to don't... bite me, I'm gonna fucking squish them. There's no in-between. There's no in-between on this. I mean, you don't squish Ro that often, and I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Rose. Yeah, but she's louder and I don't have to fight her as much for things. <laughs> as much. I don't normally step on her, but when I do, I feel bad. <laughs> she yelps like a dog when it happens. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, ah! uh, uh, once he gets the candle out, I'm assuming at this point he's like coming back in with the candle. It, it starts flying back in. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe he he had me look for that thing for he because he couldn't get it. Is Maybe that a candle? It, it it is, but it's magic. Huh. Maybe he'll let us have it now. I I did get that for you. And she sort of looks up at the dragon. It, like, it kind of looks down at you, takes up the, the rainbow colored rock, and like holds it up and kind of cocks his head to the side. <laughs> I really need the mantle. That rocket looks really great. Pals who kind of had accepting this offering. <laughs> Dang it. I, I really need the mantle. Please. Please. I hope. It kind of like. It looks at Cal, looks at you, Rudy, kind of sets down the rock and then it grabs hold of the, the, the cloth you see and then kind of talks head to the side. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Nods, nods, like very vigorously. Okay. It, it kind of starts like pulling it loose and you do see it's a mantle. It is a mantle that it is starting to pull loose from its nest. I'll take that. That that's yeah. And I like hold my hand. She like holds her hand up. Okay. It will it will like kind of like poke its head out and like drop it, and it kind of starts to drift down. I I'll take catch it. it. Oh, or also like, okay. That's oh fine. yeah. One of, one of you. It doesn't matter who. If someone catches it. Yeah, I'll grab it. <laughs> yeah, it means it means literally nothing. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter uh, to me. She'll. Uh, and you watch as it kind of like it kind of takes the candle in its mouth and kind of starts pulling it back toward it and it, the other pseudo dragon sitting with it, and they both start chewing on it. Oh God, we should maybe get out of here. And you watch as uh, the suit, like the the candle, it begins to be eaten away and it keeps growing back slightly and growing back slightly. And then you watch as the tint to the pseudo dragon's colors starts to change. Oh no! Is that they start turning. They start turning blue. They start turning a light blue. What does that uh, mean? That doesn't seem right. Let's get out of here, guys. Okay. Uh, you watch as, what about as the they... rock and the other magic stuff. I think we should let them have it. We don't need it. We're fine. We've got plenty of magic stuff from this place. Morgan's eyes are still locked on that stone. She wants the <laughs> rock. So, that thing. I can throw you up there real oh. quick, but I think we should get going. Uh, I'm telling uh, you, you that. Ha anybody who is observing. The Cedar Dragons. This applies to Mercy and Ro, who I'm assuming are just quiet and watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you guys would observe that as the Cedar Dragons are chewing and breathing out, they're, you see their breath escaping <gasps> outward. It's so Ice cold. Dragons. Yeah, well, they're cold breath. Yeah. Because it's 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 a, probably a cold, like a candle that does cold stuff. Because it was blue. That makes sense. Huh. That's interesting. Um, we should go. Because I feel like if we fight them now, they have, they're able to fight us a little better with that. Just a thought. We should go. I really want, I really want Cal just started shock. Okay, but we're not telling anyone who got swindled by cats, I don't, essentially. It, they just start walking out. I don't, it doesn't okay. matter. We got the thing. It's fine. Morgan holds up the rest of the candles and goes, I'll take the rock. I'm gonna get this rock, guys. Uh, you don't speak Draconic, so it'd be Whoa. roll animal handle. Okay. Oh. Morgan, what? 
are you doing? Are you, are you trying to get no, the rock? No, 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 no. No, she, he, she did say Rudy. No, 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 just, no, no, I know. She's not actually going to try. She's just like ex is uh, exasperated at this point. It just, it just keeps chewing on the candle and looking at you. Motherfucker! Can, can you translate? Can you tell him I'll give him more? Oh, because it's worked so well. Just translate. Tell them I'll give them something. <sighs> Fine. Please. I'll give you more of those, uh, the, the ink flasks if you help me out oh. here. If it does, if it does or doesn't work, or only if it works, is my issue. Because I'm not very good at this. Okay. Uh, uh Caloron, uh, <laughs> you you head back over to Dea. Uh, Dea, by this point, uh. You've been hanging out with a little pseudo dragon for a little while. Am I friends yet? <laughs> Just roll me an animal <laughs> handling check with advantage. As Aww. you've you've been feeding this thing regularly. Just knock off two more candles from your inventory. That's a seventeen. Hey. Yeah, knock knock off two more candles. I've done the ten. <laughs> yeah. By this point, it is now sitting in your lap and just yes! kind of chewing on a candle. <laughs> Adorable. Yes, she. Dea is like grinning. <laughs> I, with with this fourth one, it doesn't seem like it wants to be eating anymore. But it's just kind of sitting there chewing. Yeah, and she's she's like kind of petting it like behind the well where it ears would be <laughs> if yeah. it had ears and like it has ear holes. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, like the part of the neck that like animals. I like, get you. Yeah, uh, I, like... I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, Cal, you you come back and you see. Oh, it's another pseudo dragon. <laughs> Cal so sort of tosses the mantle at her. Oh. Uh, they got hustled for this, so here you go. <laughs> hustled by who? One of your friends. <laughs> I don't have any friends. <laughs> You're one of the dragons. They strike a surprisingly hard bargain for little creatures. I just wanted to take them, because, you know, they're like winged cats, but, you know. There's no point in being mean to them. They're... Very, uh, they, they have very simple wants <laughs> in life. Isn't that friends. right, little Toby? You named it. <laughs> Did you name him Toby? I guess so. That's the first okay. thing that came in the mind. Toby right, is also yeah. my cat's name. So. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it was legitimately the first name that came into my mind. Jill, thank you Other for the addition. Other than Chonky, because uh, Chonky's the other one, but... The Chonky's the little shithead that threw away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, now number two on Rose's list of arch enemies. Jim? Jim <laughs> and Chonky. And <laughs> Chonky. Don't forget, she thinks Morgan stole one of her candles. Remember that one time when she, like, woke up and threw it at Mercy or whatever? <laughs> she still thinks that Morgan stole it. <laughs> So, I fucking forgot about people, that. There are people on that list. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the Seal Dragon seems pretty content to sit there and hang out with you. Yay. Okay. Uh, now, Rudy and, and Morrigan. I'm attempting. And technically yeah, Mercy and Ro as well. That rock is important. And Gale, I think. Yeah, Gail's there. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm attempt getting... it. Erudite's going to attempt it. Morgan, I will ask whether or not I am successful. <laughs> I would appreciate the if you don't want to, I understand, but I would appreciate one of the because I don't I have not been very good at this. I'm going to warn you. Rudy's gonna try. <laughs> and she's just like, I'm very bad at this. <laughs> Can I give her any advantage at all? <laughs> Like holding the candles up or anything. No, I'll hold the candles. I'll hold the candles. How many candles do you have out of curiosity? I gave I think well, about she gave me two and they didn't take them. So I still have two in my hand. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm talking we about I'm like talking about more. How many are you offering? I'm giving all five. I haven't used them. Okay. So you're giving the remaining three to Erudite? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. So I will hold all five up. Uh, my friend here, she would like the, uh, the, the rock, the shiny rock, if, if possible. I'll give you these five candles for the shiny rock. Uh, the pseudo dragon just kind of keeps... 
chewing. Uh, oh. I can have you roll a, pers- a persuasion check. Sure. My third there you gotta. I understand that. I know. And we all know I am super fucking good at this shit. You know how, like, Cal's really good at, 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 at investigation checks? I'm really good at pers- persuasion checks. <laughs> no! I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I just just don't like. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. (laughs) I'm sorry. It's just a part of that rock's important. That rock's important. Uh, The pseudo dragon picks up the rock in its mouth, and then puts it behind it and its mate, and then just kind of sits down on it. Motherfucker! I hand her back the candles. I'm sorry, Morgan. I tried. I'm just not good at talking to people. We all know this. Or pseudo dragon. It's all right. Or anything. And I'm gonna leave. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go back to where I saw the other magic stuff. Yeah. Uh, Mercy Morgan. Uh, sorry, Mercy Morgan. Gale. Ro. What are you guys doing? Oh yeah, and Maddie. Leaving the the train. You're leaving the train. Yeah. Uh, I guess kind of going to the entrance of Following. the uh, the station. Okay. Uh, yeah. Erudite. Uh, you could try and dig through the stuff and try to get to it. Yeah, I'll do that. Just, just give me like a, an investigation check to try and find it, hunt it down. Sure, I will. Hopefully, this will be better than I've been rolling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you'll you'll find a small sack of. Uh, what's what's a good way of describing this? Um, they're almost like little stones. Okay. Uh, they're kind of flat, slightly disc shaped. It's a small pouch. It looks like to be about 25 of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see that they have small runes on them, and they seem almost crumbly in a way, but you have okay. a small pouch of 25 uh, stones. All right, I'll put that in my bag for now. And okay. uh, that's it. I'm going to head out. I know there's other stuff in here, but people are waiting, and she doesn't want to be rude. She's just like, ah, oh, that's fine. We can okay. come back to this if anything. So. Yeah. So I'm going to uh-huh. add... Yeah. Pa- just add a pouch of... Air quotes stones to your memory. okay yeah uh, yeah I got that I'll do that later I'll do that later uh, everybody else uh, you come out Dea has made a friend Cal Orange is kind of sitting down relaxing what are you all gonna do so, all right we got the got the mantle uh do we remember where the other the other three were. There were two near the high clockwork activity to the west, and then there was one sort of near Uron. Do you think it's his? I don't... He was talking about him, and weren't you looking for something like his, and there was... What? We found the... the not as powerful ones, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it sounded like the only super powerful ones was Hungerons, which is now in the possession of Toph. And then it sounds like Patha and Gazuntite took theirs off the island with them. <laughs> Pata and Tahawajin. Yeah, them. Tahawajin. <laughs> Tahawajin. Uh, the map? Take a washing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the map, it, it looks just like the one that you guys have. Mostly's trying to picture the X's back over the map. All right. I'll have you roll me to remember. Uh, wisdom check. Guys, I'm so good at these. <laughs> yeah. Well, should I just burn a lock? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Chase your blitz. Oh, yeah. uh, nine to ten. One better. I mean, it's double digits now. It doesn't feel right. The initial spot where you, like, the spot where you have it on the map right now, there doesn't feel right. It seems off, but you can't place on where it actually is. Mm-hmm. Does she share that with the group? Yeah, she's, she's just cold. kind of staring at it and goes, I don't think that X is right. I kind of remember it, but I kind of don't. <sighs> well, how many more times really- can Cal... Do your thing. How how many Uh, times can you do that today? I, if I burn all of my magic that would let me do it, I could do it uh, three more, no, four more times today. But it is... Are you talking about locate objects? Yeah. Holy fucking shit, dude. (laughs) 
Yeah, I've got two more. Yeah, uh, level, I can use my third levels if I uh, really have to. Uh, uh, but keep in uh, mind, it's a range of a thousand feet, yeah, and if say. it's across the city, I would wait until we're close to the I'm telling you to pop exit. it now. I'm telling you we get to, like it's possible uh, that we get to that area and then pop it, and maybe that'll. I'll Cal, just roll me an intelligence check. Oh, this will go swimming there. <laughs> Sorry, bud. It's, it's like this is this is like a yeah. logic thing. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I try. I try. <laughs> it's uh, definitely near the blue line, but I don't remember where. Well, all the last ones are on the uh, the edge. Hey, Rudy. Rudy's not back yet. No. Oh. You, you, she'll be back in like a few minutes. Okay. So like it's, towards the end of this conversation, so, I'll have her pop in. It's so, towards the edge, but it's not in one of the stations. Well then. Okay. I think I think uh, Gail's trying to say something. Eh, I'm just I'm just trying to think out loud because we need to. Out we're we're kind of short on time. Well, do, okay. do we want to try and head that way? Because if we give one of the big mantles to one of us. We get another one of the big mantles. Then that I don't only think leaves. The big mantles are on the island anymore. I thought there were only three of them. Right? Have... That's what Hangaron said. Is that what these he is, are? He, he, he is correct. The, no, the mantles you guys are looking for are the lower tier ones. Oh. And uh, his was stolen by uh, a pale skinned man with no hair and pale eyes. All right. So clearly I'm. No, I wasn't following that, but uh, what Sorry, else is bud. new? What else is new? Um, oh. yeah, so we need to, we need to find these. Well, if we're walking, it'll probably be a day until we get there anyway. So Mercy could always too. ask for goddess again. I mean, we also yes. know that there are a few to the west right and there's theoretically two of them nearby in the same location we could oh, go for right. a two for one deal what do we how how many first. more do, do we need all three more yes i mean you yeah. don't have one all right maddie then, doesn't have one oh no, maddie has one it's if i remember correctly you guys are, are basically looking at your last three yeah yeah we have five right now so it's mercy gail and i think Morgan. Morgan, yeah. So, alright, so we have to get him. There's, there's no, there's no way around this. Yeah. yeah. And Harvey, sorry, you're not coming with us into the academy, but to be oh, fair, I'm, it sounds really dangerous. So I'm really not go going anywhere near this. Cool. Uh, I like I've this met guy. a lich. Uh, I've <laughs> met a swarm of dragons. I've met, uh, mechanical things and there's something wandering around here and i don't want to be fighting it um i'm going to find somewhere else to be that's probably a good right. decision we With can't your just get your safety i'm just saying it doesn't um, seem like a good idea for me to be doing that can i, can I just ask you harvey harvey can i just yes. ask yes you, you good uh, i'm i'm all right yeah it's you sure yeah this is interesting Okay. Insight. I want insight. <laughs> it's okay. We're a fun date. We understand. Yeah, uh, insight. Uh, yeah, interesting is definitely a word for it. Um, <laughs> he's. Uh, I think he, he, you get the feeling that maybe he's coming to the realization that adventuring isn't his cup of tea, <laughs> mm -hmm. but he's here and he's going to make the best of it. Uh, and he kind of goes, to be honest, uh, there's still a lot of things for me to take a look at. Um, I I would say I would like to find out how this uh, thing here works. Uh, he says, pointing at the, the trolley. We can always try and I move was, it. We can I try was and take it to the that. I don't want to take this one, though. <laughs> it's the only one we have, and sometimes you got to make sacrifices. All right, I'm not saying. Aerodite's not there, so I think Michelle's saying that. So, not there. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, maybe, if we go. So that way we're not messing with all these dragons. 
if we go over Exodar to the red one, see if we can't figure out how to do it there. And then if we come back to this one, maybe that'll be faster than trying to walk our way through. Just a thought. It's worth a shot. I have the two red. fears. A lot of noise and other trolleys on the line. Uh, I will, actually, I will say, um, from the outside, you guys were able to see the these carts, uh, so these, these cabs, I should say, kind of poking out of the station. You did not see one poking out of the station uh, to the left of you guys on the red line. Well, shite. Also going to throw this out there. Uh, Hunger, I believe Hongron did mention that so these plate that the plates that we do have that'll operate all the other lines might not operate the red one. Well, all right. I have an idea. Less in order to make sure that we're keeping good time because we still have to find the one uh, that we don't know where it is. I, that kind of makes sense because you have to find things you don't know where it is. Anyway, uh, if we go check out what's over there in the red just to make sure that there isn't one of these stones or something like that that we can use later and then if if we were to quickly move down to where the other one is and then we move kind of back because we at least know our way around some of those areas i feel like we should be able to move rather quick since we don't want to be making noise in the in the trolleys does that does that work for everyone? Wait. Uh, I mean, how much money do you have? Like, Erdite's still not here. You know, she's still by here. By about now, she'll be showing up. Erdite. Uh, yes. How much money do you have? Currently? In gold, I have... <laughs> it's an odd question, but I have 33 gold pieces, nine... Oh, God. <laughs> Again, okay. wizards are broke! Yeah. Holy fucking anyway, shit. What we could do potentially is that we have been to the clock tower over there before. If you could tunnel us over there, that would save us a lot of walking time if you want to go over for this mantle. <laughs> Guys, I visited this location. We can fast travel back there. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's not wrong. This is Breath of the Wild. Oh, I need to yeah. travel back to the My Sheik is <laughs> I, I have no issue. I just have Putin talking about video games for. I don't understand. <laughs> I I have no issue with that. Uh, however, I don't have a lot of money. Like Morgan's gonna okay. dig in their pack and just hold. Well, like it's, it's fine. I it's, can cover it. It's just an option. We don't have to go through with it. I mean, it's not a bad one to be honest with you. We don't have a lot of time. How about, but well, I'd rather not tunnel into somewhere that's out. Uh, where, are, to the clock tower you said? Can mm. we, uh, is that, that's by the church, isn't it? No, is that by the church? no, no it's to the, to oh, the, uh, okay. the so, southeast okay. of it. So oh, that way it's even okay. closer to that area. Okay, 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 okay. So you're thinking the one that Morgan almost. Harvey. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Uh. I'm looking around. Be careful, those things can breathe cold. Two of them can. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see them. Alright, your your arms. Good riddance. It was nice knowing you. <sighs> They're not that Alright, that's terrible. Cool. I'm gonna Alright, just that's my idea. Uh it's not to decide on something. I'm just I'm gonna make sure Harvey doesn't <sighs> lose a finger or something and Gail's gonna kinda make sure that Again, Harvey doesn't like get into a fight or something. He's level five. <laughs> He's baby. <laughs> we brought a baby with us. She's we pretty much a word of Harvey picking a fight with a sword <clears throat> dragon. Also, Erudite. Yes. I kind of had this idea for a while, but I guess now is the best time to bring it up. Can I borrow Snowball for a minute? I mean, you can't really borrow Snowball, but I can tell Snowball what to do. No, can I? Let me. Can I see her? Yeah, can sure. Hold out his hand. I'm going to bamf snowball into <laughs> Calron's hand. Ah, talons, talons, talons. Sorry. Fine. Okay, I'm 
Cal is real smart, so he's going to try and channel his sight into Snowball because that's how magic works. <laughs> okay. It's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't he's work. Gonna try real hard. Close his eyes and squint. Close your eyes and squint. Roll wisdom. Roll wisdom. Yeah. Natural twenty. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. You think you feel something, and you realize it's just Snowball, kind of like. Kind of like puffing up a little bit and kind of sitting in her hands. Colorado, what are you doing? I figure you can send your sight through Snowball. I was wondering if there's any way I could, because if I like have my locating spell and I go through uh, Snowball's eyes, maybe it could like fly around and like cut our scouting time in half. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. It's a bond, be like it's a bond between me and Snowball. I'm sorry. It's a good thought. If well, I had, I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Just... Second dumb idea. Can I borrow your spell book? Oh my god. Eh? Uh, <laughs> Please don't hurt it! She's gonna give him the spell book. <laughs> I promise I won't. Takes out a letter. <laughs> no, he throws it over to the suit of drinks. No. I'm like, I, well, no. I'm, she's being very trusting of Cal. No. Right now. Uh, she, he's going to try to open up and try to find the find familiar spell. Oh, God. Okay. You, this is a uh, bad yeah. idea. Just, just roll me a general intelligence check. We out oh, here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you don't know what the fuck <laughs> this says. You have no Rudy. idea. What Rudy, Rudy Why don't you write your notes in common? I don't not. think this is common. It's it's not. It's it's. it's can I take a peek over his shoulder and see uh, if I understand? I, it, sure. <laughs> Intelligence check. Yes. Okay, hold on. I had to read. With advantage page. because she knows some magic. Oh, yeah. I'll just give her. It's just regular intelligence. Her DC is lower than yours. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we Mine's go. like twenty-five. It's, you're no yours is yours is just like it's a it's like a a thirteen to fifteen, but still. Eh. Yeah. Um, it's it's not shocking that Cal doesn't understand this. Uh, to be honest, you don't understand it right immediately either. You probably have to spend some time staring at it and reading through it, because wizards are notorious uh, for kind of coding their books and yeah. kind of coding their their form uh, like like same way that an alchemist would do it. Wizards are kind of notorious for doing it too. Uh, they're like they reference things in books that are things they've read, but other people haven't read. And reading a wizard spell book takes time. So she could even point out Find Familiar to you, and you'd have to just like mull through it for hours just trying to figure out what the fuck it says. And there, even then, there's no guarantee you could actually cast it. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm sorry. Hey, Rudy. That's, yes. Which one's fine, familiar? The thing that lets you summon, or whatever, lets you summon Snowball? She flips over to the page and shows him. I like how, I like the idea that it's like the page after it. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's, it's like it's, two it's, pages later. Oh. It's right here. You're, yeah. close. You're holding the book upside down. <laughs> Pretty much. And, well, the thing is, with the wizard spell book, it's very possible you could, and you'd never know. Mm -hmm. You would know, yeah. Okay, so and her writing is, like, really tiny and small, so it's, like, really, like, you're squinting. It's, it's a mixture of really small handwriting, and what and diagrams do exist are, like, they take up a good chunk of the page, and these diagrams are detailed, and you just look at them and go, what the fuck does this mean? It's like reading a physics textbook. Yeah. I'm so glad I never have to take physics. Okay. She's a smart so, girl. I mean, I took physics. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, anyway, so Cal's going to take his holy symbol and clutch it in his hands and be like, Saren Ray, so when I found this other book, you sort of gave me those spells, even though, I, you know, you didn't just naturally give them to me. So, like, in theory, you could give me, like, other spells. <laughs> and this spell would be really helpful to do what you want me to do. So could you give me the spell? He was just like, go fuck yourself. Bitch, I ain't giving you a wizard spell for free. <laughs> Take a long walk of a short pier. <laughs> you just hear God go, no! Yes. Saturday the just goes, boy, what you God want? Goes, get the fuck out of here. I didn't give you no so, handouts. Get the fuck out. You Don't again? get any response. Get a rest, you know. buddy. Okay. Hell, Ron, I appreciate it. It's a good idea, but unfortunately... Can Morgan try and sneakily puzzle her way through the spell? 
No, it, it would take like, too long. After it's... that, Cal just shuts the book and hands it back. Yeah, like, Eric would not let you. No, not right now. She puts it. Like, well, she puts it. I'm out of ideas. <sighs> well, I, I, don't we have a spot on the map? And she like looks at the map. She like sees the X, and she's like, "Don't we have a spot on the map? What's the issue?" Big spot. It's like. It's a... I for a second I thought the uh... somewhere here. For a second, I was hoping that the unit of measurement was still in dogs. Dogs. Oh yeah. No, that's that's back yeah. in our glass. Yeah. Glass. Look, yeah. I it's think it's a lot of miles to cover. No, you know. Oh my god. Imagine, do you know where the day? She's Come like, on. She's not gonna actually ask it. No, like, no, 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 no. Michelle, no. Michelle, Michelle, I am not giving did. you guys any hints. Just no, no. I decide on what you're gonna do and do something. No, I, I wasn't serious about that. Like honestly, I was. That's why I did it in Michelle voice and not. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look we can go let's how about we go to the clock tower that's nearby there how we've been to that we've been to that clock tower right we have been to all but the burn district clock tower yes okay so i can just get us over there quite quickly and well you said that i don't, don't want to leave the portal open so we could just walk we could. We don't exactly have time. That's my only issue. I mean, it's nine days left at this point, right? No. I think yes. it's less than that. Is it really? Only it's nine? It's about nine days, yeah. yeah I thought it was less than that. We haven't lasted a lot of time. You have not, you, you've also not contacted Seda again. To see how long, how, like, how far she traveled. I yeah. mean, I, I trust mean, I the duty of travel saying to, you got ten days. Fair point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, said, well... They that, came back we should, with, like, we should figure out how long we have, and then Mercy comes into the room. We have ten days, and it's like, oh, well, okay. uh, All right, fine. <laughs> Figured it out. All right, we did it. <laughs> all right, let's... Uh, Gail? 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 Where did Gail go? He's, he's gone off to help Harvey. I mean, no, Aaron. Oh, okay. Oh, Aaron, okay. I, yeah, Aaron doesn't know that. <laughs> I saw... I think I saw... Actually, no, I would have seen them cross paths with me, so... Well, Gail's with Harvey. We should get them. And we should start making our way over. Unless, I don't know. I don't like the idea of Harvey. I feel like he's in constant danger with us. Is there a way? And we on can... that note, <laughs> Gail. Oh God. Oh, no. <laughs> you and Harvey have traveled back into the train, into the trolley. Yep. And you see that Harvey has snuck his way back over to the two suit of dragons that are sitting in their nest up top. Uh, and you see the candles now kind of leaning in the back corners. It, it seems like they've eaten their fill and their color has changed completely. And this mm -hmm. ridge of scales that was along their back has become this kind of see-through light blue color. And Harvey's just kind of looking at them. Bit of a smile on his face. You know, They're these sure. things are very interesting. Yeah, they're definitely interesting well no i mean they're eating something that they shouldn't be able to uh no there really aren't many creatures that can do this and they've changed which is even more excellent so they shouldn't be able to eat that no no probably not uh i forgot he has a poly bottle extra uh yeah. Well, oh, yeah. If th that he'll he'll start saying something to the pseudo dragons in a language you do not understand. Because I forgot he had polyglot elixir. There you go. Uh really fucking helps then. Yes, you're saying get, something. Uh, uh... I'm just kind of watching, making sure nothing bad happens. They seem Honestly. friendly enough. No. Everything's friendly enough until it decides that it's hungry and wants to eat you. Yeah, I'm not terribly worried. It's got a very pretty stone there. Yeah. Mori was trying to get to us it earlier. They mm. didn't seem ready to trade for it. Mm. He just... Oh no, I know what he'll do. He's gonna get the stone. <laughs> he might, uh, he's gonna steal the stone. I know what he, I know what he can do. 
uh, he takes off some of the jewelry he's wearing. Because Harvey has a lot of nice jewelry on him. Yeah, he does. I was going to suggest he takes I off a crystals. necklace Guys. and he kind of holds it up. Sorry. Makes sense. And he says something in a language you don't understand. And I'm going to roll <laughs> to see what happens. That's funny. He can have a stone. No, he can't. I want it. Mm. All right. <laughs> God, God, yes, he can. He, he, I know. The pseudo dragons reach out, take the jewelry from him, and they give him a small rainbow colored stone. He pockets <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. I'm you know, so annoyed, guys. I wonder why Murray didn't do that. I'll be taking a look at this later. Let us know what you find. Oh, absolutely. That's quite cool. It's, it looks very interesting. No way, yeah, I should work get together. some more jewelry where I was. That way I could trade it with dragons for things. Uh, uh, I think, well, I figured they're, you know, you saw how the other ones all had things in the nests. I figured they were just like uh, uh, ravens or magpies, you know. Uh, it's kind of birds that uh, like to pick up shiny things, so... Well, that that makes sense. When I, when I talked to uh, to Noisoy, uh, he asked for money, and I gave him a couple silver for giving me a message from Frozma. I don't know who that is. All right. <laughs> He's a uh, raven, kind of. Yeah, I'll, He's my uh, friend. I'll catch up with you and, uh, and the rest in just a bit, all right? Uh, I'll just kind of poke around here, but don't, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. All right. I'll be right at the entrance. If anything happens, just make a noise. I'll come in. Gotcha. You make a noise. Uh, and he, he will make a noise if something happens, and he's going to look around a bit, or at least that's what he said he's going to do to you. Uh, who knows what he's actually doing, because you're not staying around. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, eventually we'll find out. I'm gonna have to negotiate with Harvey. I'm so You're not gonna you know. know. You don't know. Oh. You don't know. I know. You I know. Do, you I know. do not know. I know. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Ah! I'm so frustrated. All right. This kills the case. Uh, and after a little while, he will come back. <sighs> Y'all in one pace. Find anything interesting oh, yes, in I'm there? Oh yes, I'm doing just fine. Eh, found some friendly little uh, dragon feathers. Yeah. They seemed uh, nice <laughs> enough. They is oh, absolutely was... still holding on to uh, her her new friend Toby. Toby. <laughs> I mean, there was there was some magic stuff that I didn't get to. Eh. Oh, crap. Perhaps you found it. Can't win it all. Hold on. That's fine. I do have what something. I do have something. I don't know what it is. Uh, when we have the chance, I'll find out. So, are we gonna go for a ride on this thing, or what? Maybe. That's an option too. What do we want to do, guys? Since it we'll sounds be... like we would prefer to go after this one. I mean, so. if we do turn that on, wouldn't they know we were? Possibly, but if we take Probably. the this outer. Um, what direction is that? Eastern uh, it's, rail. It's a it's a, a southeasternly direction. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's less to deal with than if we went the other way, and I'd um, rather get the like pair as the last ones because then we're still right yeah. next to the academy and we can just go. I agree with that sentiment. I will. I will say. Um, Hongron did briefly touch on notification, like being not noticed by them. So you guys can roll a wisdom check and try and remember what he said. I will do that. I mean, I remember that, but just straight wisdom. I mean, theoretically, Connor, I would know because it happened within the last thirty days. It, we'll it's true. It, you, it's true. You would. I forgot about that. Um, he mentioned that they would definitely notice you over here, where they've been prowling around. Yeah. But yeah. as for anywhere else, you don't know. So it's kind of a coin flip. I think we should be careful. I mean, even then, there's there's less of them out this far. Uh, we can take a couple of them if we, we can risk it to, to go faster. 
<sighs> Going faster seems like a good idea. Honestly, because nine days seems like a lot, but then it creeps up on you and... And sometimes you get uh, petrified for a few days, so... <sighs> yeah. You know. Yeah. So you know what? Let's try to move the car then, because this saves our magic, since if we can get there today, it... who knows what we're going to find there. Yeah, let's see if we can get this to work at all. I think Gale has the plate that we yeah. took from the green line in the bag. Hi. That's that's what I'll say. Let's if we can try to see if we can make these work. I'd like to at least check out the other red one, since we're right over here. If we can see real quick if there's one of the plates there, so that way when we get to the other red line, we'll have that one. Uh, so if we do that, then we come back, figure out how it works, and then we just take these over to where we need to get the mantle, and then quickly end up. I, we're going to have to fight stuff either way. I'd rather at least be a little bit more rested and have a bit more control. Morgan, uh, Mercy, Ro, what do you guys think? I'd rather use the tram system and go to the red line first, like Gail said, because it's going to be fastest to use the trams and it's less magic we're spending. Ro? Bold of you to assume, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. Whatever, whatever gets us off of this, uh, whatever the fuck, fastest. <laughs> uh, Madeline. That's what we're going for. Maddie, Ma Maddie are you in there? Jolly's dead. Okay, all right, Jolly. Sorry, my internet died. What was yep. the question? Oh. <laughs> uh, it was lagging for like five minutes. I'm like, Christ, why? Oh my god. Do you want to walk? Um, do you want to arcane tunnel, or do you want to use the train? What's everyone's opinions on? I think, I think we've mostly been using the train. Mostly the train. I guess we could try it. Morgan, I think the tunnel. I think it'd be faster, but if you want to use a train, I don't care. No, well, that, the train at least doesn't use my magic, which I think is, is, is best we should conserve. I think everyone's right about conserving, so yeah, I think we should go for the train. All right, then do you want to have some people stay here and try to figure out how to get it working? And then Gail and a few other people could go check out the red line, or do you want to stick as a group? He's not going to be very long in the red line, I would imagine. I, I, I'm, fine, I'm fine with either, to be honest. Is that as Connor or Harvey? That's, that is me as Connor. Yeah, I sure. mean, they would you stay guys... behind and work for the... I, I kind of want to see the red line. Like, Rudy's like, oh, I'd like to see the red line office. Like, oh. I there has a new friend. I think, Rudy, I honestly think you'd be better spent here. You're the smartest of us. You'd probably be the best chance of figuring out the plate. Uh, that's true. But you also... Uh, uh, I also can't... I'd have... Okay. I'd have to start doing comprehend languages because I can't read the stuff on the thing. I, mean, uh, I yeah. looked at the plate earlier and there was like no real writing on it, right? There wasn't writing on the plate, right? You no, know, it was more runes and symbols and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, 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 uh, I'll stay here then. I kind of wanted to see the office, but I understand. Yeah, okay. So, who's going to go to the red line? Who's going to stay here? Red line. Red line. Who's going to the red line? The red line, too. I'll go with oh. the They're staying here with the dragons. Stay in, Rudy. I'll stay, stay, I guess. Orange. You're staying orange. Okay. okay you can Everybody's do what you want. In red line. No, I don't want to I don't want to make it too unbalanced. Like, if two people are staying here... It's and totally they, fine. Uh, We're not in danger. Going... <laughs> Everybody else is going to yeah, the red line. Yeah, you're going to say that, and then something Shush. else is going to happen. Don't worry about it. Everybody is going to the red line. Who has a mantle? Who doesn't? Uh, I have a mantle. I don't. I don't. Gail and Mercy don't. Of the people who are going. Okay, Gail and Mercy don't? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Neither does Morgan. Now does Morgan. Oh, Lord. But is, Mor are, is Morgan going? Or is she staying? I'll go. Yeah. No, I'll go to the red line. Okay. So, as you guys begin making your way over to the red line station, um, 
first off, the higher perception individuals, Morgan, Cal. Um, you guys note uh, there is no train, uh, sorry, no no trolley in this one. It appears to be empty. Uh, setup wise, it appears to be mostly the same as like as the as the last one was. Um, but as the individuals who do not have mantles attempt to walk in, um, it's almost like something just kind of like grabs you and like pulls you back slightly as you try to walk in. Uh -huh. Would Ro notice this? Uh, the, the the large tiefling woman who is typically with you just kind of like got pulled back slightly, so I'd imagine so, yes. Okay, Ro Ro's gonna look at the red line, look at Mercy, walk back out, take her mantle off, give it to Mercy, and then walk back over to Jaya and the rest of the group. I don't know what just happened, but I assume is this is okay. boldly kind of... <laughs> No, no, that's selfish of Ro, because yeah. not, she doesn't no. have to go into danger. I, I yeah, I got that. <laughs> oh, wait. I was like, I, no, this is I was like, I was like, oh, she's being no wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm I'm like, full I'm well. This is I'm not kindness. Someone... This is Ro being like, I'm not dealing with this shit. <laughs> uh yeah. All All right. Now that you have it, you can go in. And I'm well, gonna go in and that. look around. Uh you two can... Go see if you can find anything real quick. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna go back and. If you want, I'll give you my mantle. Or Gale. Gale, if you want, I'll give you my mantle. You're the one who I, wanted to come here in the first place. Kaloran, I just want to get off this fucking island. So the faster <laughs> we can do that, the the better I'll feel. I'm gonna go help see if I can't get the train started. See if you can't find uh, one of the stones or something like that to control it. Otherwise, there's no point in. Uh, Mulling about in the that other place. Kyle just sort of nods and walks in. We'll keep an eye out just in case anything goes wrong. Gail's right. gonna kind of stay near the entrance to the orange line, but kind of keeping an eye out just to make sure nobody like attacks the red line or something like that. Okay. Uh, round of perception checks for everybody in the red line then. Am I? I don't have a. I don't have a mental. Am I still going forward? Nope. Or... So Damn it's it. just Mercy and it's Calvin. Mm-hmm. This is... I rolled a 13. Oh, I rolled 11. Everything's um, gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. Don't worry. Great. From um, my perspective... I would note that um, this this location does look largely the same, but there are less chairs in this mm -hmm. area. Um, you still see that there are those there are three pedestals that have those three mechanical-looking creatures kind of sitting there. They're all inactive. They don't appear to be moving. Um... Less boxes and shit just kind of strewn about in this one. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a back office, and uh, mulling about through the back office, um, you would again, you'd find uh, various uh, bits of um, information. Uh, all this is all, it all appears to be very much notary, like, you know, logs of who came in, who didn't. Um, and you see that the, the log, like, compared to the logs from last time, they were a lot slimmer. There are less people who use this one. Mm -hmm. um, and there are like small tick marks near, near certain people and other ones just don't have any kind of mark near them. Um, but uh, digging through the desks and the like in this area, you would not find um, a, a slate in this one. Can I find... Uh like an instruction manual on how to operate it <laughs> how to <laughs> yeah because i think they're going to have new training manuals for like new hires and it stuff. would it, it would it is not in here no <laughs> i do i do like the idea though um uh the weird field yeah like whatever is keeping us back from going in like can i see it with my goggles on yes okay can I see anywhere that it ends? No. Anywhere that it's weak? There's nothing? Nope. When this was, this was made by mages for mages. They really they were kind of smart. They were smart enough to at least, you know, not leave any gaps. Well, there's always gaps somewhere. No um, <laughs> not with that attitude. Um, if she can't find anything, Morgan's just going to go back with the rest of them. Out of frustration. Okay. Uh, so after a little while, you guys would reveal yeah, there's there's 
really nothing of note in there. Um, okay. Erudite? Yes. I do want to look for a few things now. That's cool. Um, just roll me an intelligence check for learning how to use the the, pan, the uh, slate. Okay. Um, what are you looking for? Me? Okay. Um, yeah. I wanted to look for, like, potentially a few things. Another one would be just go out to the like, general concourse area, and is there, like, oh. a roller coaster kind of thing where, like, you can summon a car, or is it, like... Dog. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I rolled an eight. You rolled an eight? Yeah. Uh, you've got a rough idea on maybe how to use it, you think. Can I try? <sighs> Since I'm there. Uh, you certainly can. It will, you'll be intelligence disadvantage as you are not necessarily yeah. a spellcaster. Also, if the if the, if the pseudo dragon let me, uh, I definitely put it on my shoulder to like. Oh yeah, it's it's just kind of like flops down. Hell yeah. yeah. I, 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 just there. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh no. <laughs> you don't. You have no goddamn clue what you're looking at. Uh, I mean, I can. I I think I might understand this, but it's not anything I've ever seen before. So, I mean, this is over two thousand years old. So. I'm you you going... feel like you at least know how to start it. Yeah, I'm certainly going to try. Well, knowing how to start isn't good enough, and we don't know how to stop it. Well, you think you think you could figure that out? Maybe. I, 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 I mean, again, this is I mean, a little too The worst we yank the tablet out, probably, right? Uh, maybe again. This, this, this is magic that. I've never seen before. Like, the stuff on this island is a bit... This is more than I... Yeah, this is this is a lot. Uh, I'm going to try, though. I'm well, going to try. If anyone can figure it out, it's you. Yeah. Okay. So... Oh, um, there would not be one here, no. So after a little while, you guys reconvene back into the orange line. Um, what are you guys going to do? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, is everyone back? Yes. I, I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I believe so. I, I said, Like I said, everybody reconvened. Okay, apparently... Yeah, Rudy's going to attempt to get this to work, I guess. She does not feel super... <laughs> These dragons she are does... going for a ride. <laughs> she does not feel super confident about it, but you know... Uh, Cal's going to cast aid on Dea <coughs> and Maddie. Okay. Just, just, just in case, you know? Okay. You cast Here. aid on them. On me? Did I get aid? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. You now have aids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> too dark, Kyle. Oh, too dark. Dea and Feels Cal both name. have, uh, death, death ward still up. BT dubs. Uh, uh, so, are okay. you going to try and start it up? Yep. Aaron's going to attempt it. Let's go. Alright, All right. so. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, uh, Rudy, you press what you believe to be the button to control this. And you guys all feel as this trolley lifts up off the ground silently. It just does not make any noise. It just begins to lift up, and you are all very aware of this. Maglev. And then you watch as some of the pseudo-dragons that are outside and actually have their nests outside kind of look out over there. And then you watch as the trolley starts to move slightly away, and the pseudo-dragons out there start to fly over towards the, tra uh, towards the trolley and start landing on and, like, flying in into seats and area of other spots where they can find a spot to hide. Uh, and... Poor dragon. The trolley begins to move away further oh, and no. further and further down the line, and you guys realize very quickly you are moving very fast. Oh shit. I hope <laughs> you know how to stop this. Uh, Aerodite's gonna start looking and seeing if she can figure out how to stop this. Like, she's... Uh... <laughs> oh no. Okay. TPK. Roll, me, roll me an intelligence check, because you're trying to find how to stop it now. Yeah, Aerodite's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's a 
<laughs> seven? Why is oh, he doing so bad? Uh, you don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like this one. Uh, you don't know which one it is now. Uh, panic, panic, you know how to panic. start it. Can I panic, try panic. again at, at this advantage? <laughs> Probably. Uh, you can certainly try. Okay. Just a straight intelligence check, this? right? Yeah. Twelve. That's better than me! <laughs> What'd you get? Twelve? At, with disadvantage? 12. Uh, okay. Uh, so, by about this point, you guys would have moved about halfway down the tracks. And you guys realize you move fast on this thing. Very, very fast. Um, what would have ordinarily probably taken you about a half a day, at least, you've managed to reverse in minutes. It's, it's been maybe 15 minutes. Um, you... Erudite, you're struggling a bit. Again, she doesn't have really really well under pressure. <laughs> As she's panicking, it's bad. And Dea, you clearly see that There's Erudite no is starting to worry. And that makes you start to worry. <laughs> and you peek over her shoulder and look at the panel. And do you press something or you just locate what button to press? I, I locate because I'm okay. trying to get a little bit closer to this. You, you, you kind of point at one and go, try, try pressing this one. Try pressing this one. Okay, okay, okay. She does that. Parody no. does that. You press the button? No, not right now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Okay, press the, yeah, press the no. button. Press it. Oh, no. All right, you press the button, and you feel the, you feel the trolley start to slow and stop. And it takes a little while, but eventually it stops completely. It, you still feel it levitating, but you've stopped about here. Okay. Okay, we figured it out. We're good. Dea, thank yeah. you. I was I was having a little bit like I felt my heart like beating and I could Yeah, that's called like, panic. Uh, uh... You'll... It's, called, it's called panic. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. either get used to it or you don't. Uh, but uh, uh okay, I don't so like now... that music. <laughs> we yeah. figured it out. We should probably uh, start it up again and now that we know how to stop it, we can start it again and get to the other station at least. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start it again. All right. Have you I begin working on starting it back up, and then you hear a faint noise. Oh no! <laughs> not terribly far away. Oh no! Oh no! Morgan's bow is out. Fuck! 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 We're not here for this. Oh, we Michelle, start it again. Start the start the thing. I'm trying. I'm trying. So you're I'm trying. pressing the buttons. It's slowly so starting to lift up and start to move slightly. Uh, that noise, that I was starts getting eye closer eye. and closer and closer. And are you guys keeping an eye out from the back? I, it, yeah, I know? said that I put a thing in chat and everything. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, perception checks from the people who are keeping an eye out. Cal, good on you. You're already out of it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Give me a sec. Perception. Oh, oh. oh. jeez. <laughs> Look, I gotta start rolling shit on something. I'd rather be perception than to hit something. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. You are a barbarian. Yes. <laughs> uh, everybody who's kind of keeping their eyes out, trying to look at where this noise is coming from, as you've all heard this, it was impossible to miss. Um, you guys see uh, coming from off in this direction as it makes its way through this square near nearby what? is this towering giant. It must stand a good 20 to 25 feet tall. And you see that it has these bands of metal that, stri that are going across its, its body at very lo various locations. And going up its neck, up through the jaw, uh, over to the actual, like, like the location where like its teeth would be, is this like banding of metal that just replace all of that. And then you see as there are sections where it has been gouged and pierced and locations where it looks like bones have reset and returned to normal where they have um, mended. Uh, and this thing looks burned <clears throat> and beaten, but it still stands. And it just moves closer and closer towards you guys looking at you. And you watch as it comes near buildings and it just starts pushing through them. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Morgan's immediately gonna like, as soon as she sees it, she's gonna like turn and yell down the car, We've got company! Get this thing moving! We're trying! <laughs> I'm trying! 
Uh, Would you rather us speed? crash? It compared to the cart right now as a starting, uh, it's faster than the cart as it's starting up. But you think once this thing starts going, you you should be able to outpace it. Okay, but like um, at average speed, can I get a sense of what that is? Um, it looks like it might be with its just sheer size, 45, 50 feet. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, it lets out one loud, deafening cry. I'm gonna need everybody to please make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, fuck! I'm really good at those. Oh my god. I got a 15. I didn't do terribly. You didn't do bad. Oh, that's a 6. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I did the worst oh, by far. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, buddy. Everyone rolled above 14, and I'm like, oh, hey. Oh, buddy. Um, Caliron, Erudite, and Dea, you guys all fail to check. No! Oh. Ro, you barely pass. Jesus Christ. I'll take it. Um, well, you all Rose. feel this oh. terrible shudder crawl up your spine as this thing lets out this noise. Um, everybody else, you manage to clasp your hands over your ears and kind of block it out a little bit, but you still feel it rumble your bones and you feel it shake your teeth. Um, Dea, uh, Caloron, Erudite, um, you hear this noise and holy fucking shit, this thing is horrifying. You you guys need to get the fuck out of here now. I'm gonna do something very stupid. Okay. <laughs> is it within 30 feet of us? Oh god. Not right. yet. Trust me, it... you'll know when it gets that close. Erdit is like no, fucking. Wait, 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 wait. Can I roll another intelligence check to see if I can figure oh, out shit. how to get this moving faster? At disadvantage, you're panicking. Yeah. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> can I come up to the cart where they're piloting this thing? Yes. Okay, okay. I want to double check one thing real quick. Okay. But I see everybody panicking. Yeah, and I'm going to cast Calm Emotions on all of us. No, 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 no. I'll oh, have you me. please roll me Wisdom. Just to see if you have your wits about you enough to do this. Okay. And I love wild. the idea. And it's, it's actually really great. I'll be honest here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you manage to get your wits enough about, around you enough to just cause calm motions on basically everybody here. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> you're going to let it pass. I'm going to imagine Aerodite will probably let it pass. Yes. And they will just, as well. So you guys that. all uh, kind of you all hit this moment where suddenly you aren't as worried. Okay. This thing is a threat. It's big, it's scary, uh, but it doesn't seem as bad. And Erudite, now that you've stopped panicking, yeah. you realize you don't need to press any buttons because you're gaining speed. Okay. <sighs> and this thing is slowly starting to fall back a little bit more, okay. slowly. And as it pulls away, and as you guys begin to gain speed on it, it lets out one last the one last ho howl, as it just stands there and watches you all move. And then it turns and makes its way back into the city. Oh God! <laughs> well, that'll be fun to fight later. Calum, that is horrifying. Calum, thank you. He just sort of nods. Glad I brought it today. <laughs> Aaron, just like, <gasps> she's just trying to calm herself down. <sighs> okay. Technically, it was in anyone else had like a twenty foot. So technically, I could have like chilled everyone out. You, you basically could calm everybody if you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah, everyone's chill now. We all smoke some weed. No, exactly. no. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Okay, I think I've figured out how to start it and stop it. I do have to stop it a little bit ahead because it seems to slow down before I stop it. So... Well, if and there's like nothing the ahead of us, we should go through the green line as we well. Wanna go th we want to go through the green line? Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, just as long as there's not, you know, another <laughs> tram on the line. <laughs> I, I, will, I, will, I will just point out, for simplicity's sake, uh, the lines are not all directly connected, but you can very oh, easily get out. Walk okay. Over the next one, get out, walk over yeah. There. And they all... I see, I see. Do they all, do they all work the same way? You'd assume so. Well, hunger on, okay. I think hunger on said one tablet would work on all of them, or something along those lines. Okay, yeah. so so we'll get to that. the end of this line. We'll run to the other line. We know where that trolley is, so yep. we'll run to that and we'll move our way over. Okay, 
that's what we're going to do. Yep. All right. You guys have about another 15 to 10 minutes before you make up, make your way to the uh, next station. Is there anything you guys would like to converse about? I still have the pseudo dragon, right? Yeah, you still have him. He's he's hidden himself into your bag. We what? have a bunch of we have a bunch of pseudo dragons with us. Yeah, we yes. took their home. Can, <laughs> um, we just took their. I will. I'm gonna point out to Morgan. I'm gonna be like Morgan. Uh, yeah. In that other room, in one of the other rooms, there were two other magical items. If you wanna, was... gonna go look. I I can't. Can I walk away from the thing, or do I have to stay there? Uh, no, you you can basically move around with this tablet. It's okay. not like it has to mount into a spot. You can just. Oh, carry okay. It. So I'm just carrying. <laughs> oh my god, it's an actual. That's actually. Really she funny. can slay it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Morgan, come with me. Uh, I'll show you where the the other items are. All right. Can I follow? I was actually gonna say I want to look go look at the magical items. Yeah. Well, I know where they are. You don't. So <laughs> that's the thing. Is I I saw them. So. I, I, I knew oh. there were magical items. We just didn't have time. Ta- no, nah, I'm messing with you. Sorry. No. Okay. So I'm gonna point out to where they are, and if when we're separated from the rest of the group, I hate to ask. Uh, uh, do you want to give me that that ink? Sure. And she's got. She's got. You don't have to. I'm, I, I I would appreciate it, but you don't have to. She's going to squint because it was like, this is very different from the last time she asked for any of the ink. She's trying she's... to be better. <laughs> I know, I know. She's going to pull out another uh, vial of the ink and hand it over. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I was so rude to you about it before. Mm. I'm trying to not be so rude. It's hard for me. Sometimes I sort of get my need, my, sometimes my need for things or the things I think I need tends to get in the way of the way I act. And I'm trying to be better about it. Mm. No, I'm trying not to be so demanding. Anyhow, uh, in that one, and she sort of points to the two places that she, cause you said there were three things in here, right? Connor? Uh, there, you noticed, you noticed three objects. So I, I got one of them cause I got the stones. You got the stones. So I'm going to point her to where the other two things are. Other one. Uh, oh, because the other, the other one was a candle. You're right. I forgot about that. So I'm going to point to where the, I saw the last item, and I'm going to say there's something around there if you want to get something. I know right. you couldn't get the rock, so maybe this will. Yeah. Is that... Can I do a look around and see if the rock is still there? With my glasses on? No. Okay. Uh, uh, mostly mostly this... because you're being pointed to a different direction. If you want to go look, gotcha. yeah, you can. Um... Okay, uh, can I start digging through the crate, or do you need to make an investigation check first? It basically, just roll an investigation check. Okay. Yeah! Uh-oh. Doing great, y'all. You've, you've pinned it down to one box. Problem is, this box has a lot of shit in it. <coughs> Goggles on, keep digging. Just start digging. Yeah. I'll, Find I'll, it eventually. I'll, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, oh, no. and then, as soon as she sees that Morgan's, like, looking, I'm going to, uh... Walk away. Okay. <laughs> so I you walk away? I mean, because we have 15 minutes, so it's not time for me. There's not enough time for me to do uh, identify. Because I think it's 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes, though, right? Yeah, identify is about 10 minutes. Okay. And you said it takes 15 minutes to get to, to the 15. end. So she's going to really quickly attempt to start identifying. Oh, okay. You're going to try to identify the stones you have? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um. So in that case... Uh... Oh yeah, that's true. No uh, yeah, well, I mean, they have saw you do it, so I think she, and she's the one who found the off switch, so I'm sure she can do it. She's still at the front. She's just looking out the window at like the oncoming. Train. Yeah, it's fine. You could you could certainly do so. Um, uh, casting identify upon this object, um, or the objects, I should say. Um, you come to the conclusion that they're basically um very minor explosives. Oh, yeah. Cool. They, they they can do a small amount of fire damage if you if you throw them at something, um, but the biggest thing is they make a lot of noise. Okay. So they're little they're little dynamite sticks essentially. Uh, kind dynamite. of. The little they're little 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 tiny little baby grenades. It's it's like an what's the, what is it? It's like an M twenty or M forty. What are those little those little sticks? M eighty. M eighty. That's it. 
It's like a, it's, yeah. it's almost like an M80. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what kind of damage does it do? It does a D6 of fire. Okay, I will just put stone with D6, 25 stone C6 fire. Okay, that's yep. fine. Uh, the biggest thing is they will make a lot of noise. Yeah. Uh, just just put them in as explosive ruins because that's what they are. Okay, explosive ruins. Twenty. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Um, they they will be quite audible. Your estimate is at least three hundred feet. Oof. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Is there anything else that anybody else wants to do? Uh, when we get to the station and on our way out of the train, Cal. Would like to go to the wax golem thing. Oh, okay. On its hand, it doesn't have like hands. It has a hand currently. Like what? Does it's it... like entire like right shoulder and head have been like eaten by these things. Okay. Does it have like a finger? Yeah. I would like to cut off a finger. Okay. <laughs> All right. <That's... laughs> go on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just like I would like to cut off the finger and see if it still has the same like regeneration properties. It does not. Now, balls. Well, I guess I'll go over to my sister to be like, here. I was hoping you could have like an infinite snack for your new friend, but uh, it stopped is, working. Is so. this a finger? Just, Don't. Just pa- this, this pale, cold finger. Ugh. Don't worry about it. It's a snack for your friend. Thanks. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah, you. Fucking finger to somebody. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's it's happened to me before. Listen, what? It's, Cal tried to make up for earlier when he was not happy the about t- the idea. <laughs> Have a the finger. Found. So it's like here. He's trying to make amends, but he doesn't do it. Right what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, okay, let's go. Okay. Next line. Actually, uh, this is this is something I am genuinely curious about. How did everybody else's characters react to? The thing. The two the the thing coming out of people's chest? chest? Zombie no. Voltron. The creature. Uh, Zombie Voltron? I yes. actually I just stepped away. What what are we what are we talking about? Uh, I, this, this is me this is me, Connor, asking uh, you to explain to me how, how your character was feeling about that thing. Oh well, she's yeah, pan- ready to fight it. Panicky as fuck. Bo oh. was out and aimed at face. Was it going to do much? No. But she was ready. She, I panicked. Everything, like, straight up panicked. Like, but, even before yeah. the thing, before the thing did the thing, she straight up fucking, like, was like, oh, holy sh-. Hey, like, Michelle. Yeah? We understand she was panicked. Yeah, you can... Okay, sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, uh, I will shut up now. Yeah, once once the panic had sort of, like, settled for Dea, she's, that's actually kind of what she's thinking about uh, at the front of the trolley. It's like... She felt kind of bad for it because it was just like covered in like torture wounds. Um, yeah. All right. Jill, Jess. Rose' only outward face crack was her eyes got a little bigger, but on the inside she was shitting herself. <laughs> <laughs> like full on. Mastered that poker face. Got to use it somehow. Yeah, she said, "Oh fuck." Leslie's <laughs> just tired. She was like, "Okay." I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> I think Jolly's dead. <laughs> yep. Jolly dead. She did type in Jolly. chat that she was panicking. Oh. Yep. She's probably I, think, I think she's talking. Yeah. All right. So within about 10 to 15 minutes, you guys finally find yourselves at the next station over here. Um... And it's just a quick walk over to the next one. And you guys recognize this one. This is where you entered into the actual city proper. A few days ago. Did I, did I find anything in the box? Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, in the box? Yeah, you said that I, you said you were going to get back to it. And then. Yeah, eventually, eventually you would find something. What, what did I find? Uh, you would just find uh, what appears to be a small set of tools. I'll keep them. Okay. I need tools. Have... I like tools. It's add set of tools to your inventory. Okay. Um, put quotes around it so I know that it's something that actually has an effect. Uh, uh, cool. Okay. And I'm assuming, it, well, as the train finally stops, all the pseudo dragons do start flying about a little bit more. 
Some of them fly out of the train. Some of them stay inside. But uh, yeah, you've you just successfully moved an entire clutch of these things <laughs> from one home to another. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> they can make their home here now. <laughs> um. So I'm going to. I'm like going to assume that you guys are going to take the green line. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If it's faster, yeah. Thea still right. has the little dragon. She's still oh, he's just sticking. He's just staying with you. Yes. <laughs> You she's acquired... not. She's making zero effort to dislike to to get rid of him. You acquired a new friend. Yeah. New friend. You kept you kept feeding him, and you didn't horribly <laughs> fuck up any roles. So yeah. Yeah. So he is he is amicable towards you. Yay. Um, <laughs> hopping onto this one, it's a lot less cluttered than the other one. The other one was you find a lot less in the uh, cargo bay, um, and the travel. Really, a little less. 15 minutes, maybe. Uh, but uh, with that, short trip, you'd find yourselves at the green station and near the blue one. So we haven't been in the blue one yet. You have not. So what does the blue station look like? Much like the others. Uh, visually, they all appear to be roughly the same. I will say... Uh, this one does appear to be slightly damaged a little further along the line. It looks like something has fallen onto uh, the tracks themselves. Mm. About whereabouts can we see where that well, is? It's not not terribly far ahead. Like it's oh. only about like right over here. <sighs> we uh, we may not be able to take this. I mean, ultimately, we're pretty much as close as we can get if we're not going to stop in the middle of the line. Do we just want to walk from here? You can you can see that there's another train in there. Probably just want to walk at this point because we're not really sure where it is, unless you think it is towards the middle of the line. Yeah. Like well, even if it's, it's here-ish, we don't we really want to stop in the middle of the train line and then go from walk off the train and go in. Rather leave it here. You don't know. I, it. What does it everyone else think? In the future. What does everyone else think? I'd rather find it and know exactly where we need to go to pick it up when we're ready to leave. So leave it at the station. It, it just... should be easier to find at the station. Yeah, that's sort of my thought. Easier to uh, get to as well. Actually, that's a good point. Like, What do the tracks look like? Are they like just generic train tracks? Are they like are they in, like uh, on an elevated platform, like I, I on will the say, wall of the city? For or? the sake of map making, I had to make them generic train tracks because I couldn't find the actual thing I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. um, but they are more actually just like these smooth plates of metal that mm -hmm. just go along. Yeah, but like, are they like on a wall? Is it just like there's a there's an enclosing wall around like the actual tracks themselves to make sure people don't like you know mm -hmm. run onto them. But it's nothing too terribly tall. Okay, so it would be a bit of effort to cross the wall to get into the train if we were to stop in the middle. Yeah, not 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 a huge amount, but yeah, it'd be a little effort. Okay. Well, being in with half the party having negative strength and making that athletic jump to climb, <laughs> yeah, it'll go wild. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a plus ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's leave it at the station. All right, you guys gonna look through the uh, station at all? Sure. Kind of want Real to. Real quick, just to make sure that if we do have to come hauling ass into here and jumping in the train, we're not going to have to, like, also fight our way to the train. Mm -hmm. Well, making your way towards the station, the individuals with higher perception would note there are some things inside the station. And they look weird. Weird how? Well... What the fuck? Oh no. There we go. Are they fish? No, oh, as you make your fish. way towards them, they look... The, actually... Ev most everybody else except for the twins would likely re know that they resemble almost like slugs. 
Um, the twins, on the other hand, they look more like um, you would know them as uh, nudibranch. They're these kind of um, sea slug-like creatures that have these tendrils that float off of them. You can Google image them. They're actually very cool looking. Can you spell that in the chat then? N N U D I B R A N C H. Uh, do we want to clear them out now? Or do we want to not worry about it? Well, if they're not attacking us, why, why waste time? I mean, if we need to come here, we'll have to deal with them at some point. I'd rather not do it when we're running from something. What's, um, what's this thing in the corner? Uh, those are those things on the pedestals that I was mentioning before. Uh, and you see that there are... Did I, did I ever properly describe the things on... Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, little praying mantis -y things. The praying mantis, uh, kind of uh, spider crab-like, I suppose is a good mm -hmm. way of putting it, but they kind of have like an upper body. Yeah, so yeah, praying mantis is probably the best description. Oh, the nuda branch is like the little sea dragon thing? Yes. So in a way, these things are beautiful, but they're not swimming. They're just kind of floating. And you see a few of them have kind of latched onto things and just occasionally kind of pulse with this reddish orange yellow light. And it just travels up them. It travels up again. It does it again. Rather not touch these. <laughs> this makes me nervous. Well, what do we want to do here, folks? Just move on is my well, if we move on. Rudy mm -hmm. sounds like another vote for move on. What does everyone else? Move on. Uh, if everyone's for, for moving on, if if we can get to... I, I guess we at least know that we got to fight something if we're coming back in here fast. And the pro I will say, if we're come running from something, we're probably going to be much weaker than we are right now also don't want to necessarily be fighting a battle on two fronts. We don't even know if these things will attack us. They're, they're slugs. <laughs> Let's find out, and I'll take a few steps this way. Okay. Uh, you see, like, one of their eyes kind of turns and looks at you slightly. Kind of slowly blinks, making this faint noise. Ew. No. No. I'll yeah, turn back to the group. Turns they seem passive at the moment. You guys can make perception checks if you want. I'm gonna yes. do that. I'll do yeah, it. Sure. I'm doing it. Who wants to look at the slugs? <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, nope. I don't know anything anymore. Okay. Oh um, god. That should have been a 17 because I forgot I was on disadvantage. Sorry. Um They all appear to be fairly amicable in a way. They aren't friendly, but they don't seem to be bothered by you. Um, looking around, you see that there is a large mass of, uh, objects that were taken, that are just kind of piled up here. Crates, chests, barrels, stuff like that. Uh, and you can faintly see that off in the distance there is another one of those rooms towards the back right. Um, you see that the ones over here, uh, which is basically everybody who didn't roll, roll a seven, sorry, <laughs> Jill. Um... The ones back here are latched onto the creatures. Those metal things, they're just latched onto them and they keep pulsing. pulsing. Are they... Pulsing. Cal asks the group, are they eating something? Mercy and Calaron, you see something else. Oh. You guys see that one of them up here on the roof of it, it looks like there's a bit of cloth underneath one of them. Oh. And it's pulsing. Oh no, I'm gonna cast Locate Object. There it is! <laughs> That's the mantle, guys. Uh, I'm going... I, 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 have a, I have a suspicion, so I'm going to run till I'm within 60 feet and cast Sacred Flame on the one eating the mantle. Why are oh we god, okay! It right away! What? Uh, well, we're right about at 7 o'clock. Jill's feeling a little sick. <laughs> So we're going to cut it off here. Oh, we're going to pick it up with combat next session. All right, guys? Uh, oh, God. Oh,